I'm going to survive 100 days in LEGO Fortnite. Thanks to Epic Games for sponsoring this video. In this 100 days, I'll have to journey to different biomes, build up my village, and try not to suck at the game. That part's kind of difficult for me. But without further ado, let's get into it. Here we are in our new LEGO Fortnite world. This is me. I've become a LEGO minifigure. Not where I thought I'd be going in life, but here we are. We've got this person over here, so let's chat to them. Maybe they know what's going on. Ah, where am I? Who are you? Who am I? Wait, I know that last one. My name's Cuddle Team Leader. Nice to meet you. I can't believe I'm getting led around by someone called Cuddle Team Leader, but hopefully you know what you're doing. Seems like there is a lot of wood and granite around here. I wonder what we could make with them. Hopefully something useful. <laughs> now, I believe we should be able to find logs on the floor like this, and then we collect them. We can also collect these pumpkins, which is useful, because in this mode, you get hungry, just like Minecraft. There's also this chicken, and I need to get my hunger up, so I'm gonna just <laughs> punch the chicken. Come here, die. Oh no, rest in peace, mate. So my character's already hungry, but because we picked those pumpkins, we can eat them like this. And that's going to restore our hunger up here and also our health. There's also poo. You can collect poo. It's called fertilizer, but look at it. It's, it's obviously poo. There's also this granite that we can collect and more poo. I can see a snowy area over there, so we could explore that later. Let's collect as much granite as possible. We need lots of resources. I'm also cold, apparently. There's different types of climate in LEGO Fortnite. I can get some berries. That's cool. So much wood here. This is perfect. Soon we'll be able to make an axe, and then we can start chopping down trees instead of having to pick everything up like a peasant. Oh, no, 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 no. Chill. Chill. That is a wolf. I'm sorry. Oh, Get dodged, mate. You've got nothing on me. Nope. I'm so much better than you. Yep, that's right. Walk away in shame. Right, now let's talk to Cuddle Team Leader. Feel like those resources are going to come in handy. A toasty campfire will keep things bright and warm. We should build one just in case. That is a great idea. Open your build menu and find what you want to build. I mean, that seems pretty straightforward. Right, there it is. The campfire. Let's get that place down. Me and Cuddle Team Leader, we can have a nice little campfire to sing songs around. And now we can also make a crafting bench. I guess we'll just place this down here. It is getting dark, and apparently monsters spawn at night. We're in a bit of trouble. Yeah, so using this crafting bench, we can now make a forest axe and a pickaxe. I mean, we could if we had the resources. And then if we get enough wood, we can make this starter shack, which, while not much, will at least give us some shelter. We're gonna have to collect some more resources, though, because we don't have enough wood to make anything right now. Where's the wood? I've found so much granite, but no sticks on the floor. Oh, it is definitely turning night now. There's a few sticks here. That's perfect. Oh, what's that? There's a little glowy thing in the grass, but we're just gonna have to punch it. Oh, I died. <laughs> I'm already dead. Oh, uh, I tried to punch it and I just ate a berry. Okay, well, at least we can respawn. Looking at the map, it does show us where our stuff is, which is really nice. I mean, the first day could have been worse. And I'm dead again. <laughs> I froze to death. That is two deaths on the first night. Not my proudest moment, I will say. Let's grab our stuff and run. I am sorry, Cuddle Team Leader. I have failed you. At least there's more wood here. And you actually can't use your workbench while it's raining, which is where the simple shack comes in. I guess we just place it down here. And then you actually have to go up and start the build. We have to manually build each of these pieces here, which is pretty unique. So there's a pillar there, a pillar there, and then we build the wall. Gotta have a wall. And then this is where we're supposed to put in the floor, but I don't have enough wood. I guess our only option is to stand at the fire with Cuddle Team Leader. You know, I feel like this is a pretty one-sided partnership here. I've built all of this, and you're just freeloading. To be fair, I am trying to reason with a life-size pink bear. I don't think I'm gonna get very far. However, we have, in quotation marks, survived the first night. I mean, we did die twice. This way is definitely our best choice right now because all around us, all of this is just a cold climate. Although we will be able to craft torches to deal with the cold. Right now, let's just grab all of these resources. I definitely want to get that shack finished today. Right, that's the floor done. Oh no, stage one of three. I'm just going to hope that we have enough wood for this. Stage two complete. And now finally, we just need to put a ridge up there like that. We've done it. We actually have a house. It's rubbish, but we actually have a house now. Yeah, you're welcome, Cuddle Team Leader. You did nothing. This shelter will be perfect for protecting us from weather and any enemies that might be around. Tell me, Cuddle Team Leader, was there any us in building the shack? Do you think we're the only people who rifted here? I mean, if everyone's just gonna freeload like you, I hope we're the only people here. Maybe we should build something like a village square to attract nearby friends. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Now, you can't move things once they're placed, so we need to destroy this crafting bench and place it inside. There we go. And we can also make ourselves a forest axe. 
pigs. Look at that. We actually have a tool now. And now we can chop down trees, which makes our life a whole lot easier. It's going to be another day of manual labor. We need to get as many resources as possible. Yes, that means you, little tree stump. There's even Lego cows in this game. Let's chop down one of these massive trees. This should get us loads of wood, surely. Then we'll chop this as well. Oh, no, we won't because there's a wolf there. I'm sorry, man. Chill. He just did all my health in one attack. Run. No. No, you can have the cows. I'm sorry. If we eat some food, we can restore our health. Oh, and there's one of these glowy things. I've seen these in a YouTube video. If we follow this, it should take us to a chest. Show me the way, glowy thing. Where's the loot? There's a wolf right there, glowy thing. Please chill. No, please relax. Please. I just want the loot. Please. I'm sorry. Oh, and I'm cold. Great. Ooh, stop. Stop, 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 stop. I'm sorry. Stop. I want loot. How is that a bad thing? Oh, there's a llama there. That might give us a lot of building materials. We can pet it. <gasps> no, he just blew up. I just petted him and he exploded. I'm so sorry. That normally doesn't happen when you pet things. We've got lots of resources here, though. Dynamite, fruit pie, blast powder. Yes, please. Let's make our way back. That looks like a snowy wolf. That probably does more damage than the normal one. Or we could just run away. I mean, that suits me. <laughs> I'm not complaining. These cold biomes are pretty brutal, though. Look at my little Lego guy run. Look at that speed. The pace. First of all, we'll place down a bed to set our spawn. It's just like Minecraft. And now this is my bed. Hey, get up, lazy. We're not done. We might as well spend the rest of the day collecting materials. That llama gave us lots of useful resources. Our axe is broken, so we'll make a new one. And we'll also make a pickaxe. We do not have a lot of granite, but thankfully, we can very quickly solve that. Oh, we've made a spider mad. Look at that. Die! <laughs> Die! Die! Ah, ah, ah. That is our first enemy defeated in LEGO Fortnite. By the end of these 100 days, I want to get some really good tools and build a massive village. As you go along, you not only unlock pre-built structures like this, but you also get some pieces that you can do whatever you want with. See, now that we've built this shack, we've got access to all of the different pieces from it. So we can use the pillars and the roof and all of that to build our own structures. There's some different workspaces I'd like to make, but since it's raining, we can't use them, so let's go to bed. Look how cozy this plastic Lego bed is. To be honest, I'm not sure if sleeping in a bed actually skips the night or really progresses anything. I think we might just have to stay up. What have you got to say for yourself, cuddle team leader? Always a pleasure. No, it isn't. It's pretty dark outside, so watch out. Skeletons don't like being stepped on. Fair enough. Anyway, is there something I can help you with? Yeah, there is actually. Can you do some work? Let's eat some pumpkins. Apparently, we're pretty hungry. I do want to expand the shack a bit, so let's place this foundation. And then we get ourselves a wall. And we place that there. Okay, we're making progress. Then we put a pillar in the corner. And can we just slap a roof on the top? Oh, there we go. We can. Oh, I've just realized I've missed a support there. Hold on just one second. Apparently, it won't actually fit there, so never mind. We've freehanded and built this. Our shack is now a mega shack. And Cuddle Team Leader did nothing. Put that torch away. That's a fire risk. Now let's make ourselves the lumber mill. We'll place that here. And we can use this to make more specialist wooden items like planks and rods. And tomorrow I want to get some stones so we can make a grill. Because eating cooked food actually increases your max life. Let's set some logs to be turned into planks here. It does it automatically which is cool. Right, the planks are done. That's lovely. Let's turn the rest of our wood into wooden rods because I'm sure they'll come in handy. Also, lots of Fortnite dances actually work in the Lego mode and the NPCs will do it with you. This is the one good thing Cuddle Team Leader's done. Oh, look at that. See, we're bonding now. We're having a nice time by the campfire. Look at that. I got the moves. I got the moves. My plastic Lego body, it knows no bounds. Day three is nearly upon us. We'll grab these wooden rods. And using all five of those rods, so it's pretty expensive, we can make ourselves a short sword. We got a sword, a pickaxe, and an axe. The perfect set of tools. I just tried to hit a piece of granite I can already pick up. Anyway, it is time for another day of resource collecting. Our sword now gives us the slightest of slight fighting chances against the wolves. You can apparently find structures in LEGO Fortnite that have lots of loot in them, so I would love to come across one of those. Can we mine these big rocks? Oh, we can. Our pickaxe is nearly broken, though. You know what? I'm probably going to regret this, but let's have a little wander around and see if we can find anything. There's a nice plains on the other side of the forest. Is that something over there? I think 
think it is. Yeah, this is some kind of structure. And I see a person there. I see two people. You, you guys not friendly? No, we're not friends. Guys, you do realize I'm happy to steal from the innocent. I am overjoyed to steal from the evil. Die. Oh, no, I'm weak. Stop chasing me. Let's get him. Let's get him. There we go. You're nothing to me, mate. You're a pile of Lego pieces. I'm going to eat a pumpkin in front of you and you're just going to miss again. You cannot do anything. Goodbye. Oh, and we get her crossbow. Hopefully, we're better with it than her. We can even pick these arrows up, which is useful. Here we are. Here's their shoddy little bandit camp. What are their possessions? Let's have a look. We've got some bread. We've got some arrows. And there is a wooden rod, but we don't really have space for it. I think we can just go to town on this place and collect all the pieces. Oh, uh, you know what? This would be the perfect time to use this dynamite. Go on, then. Look at that. Right, let's throw some more over that way. Move out the way, chickens. <laughs> You're going to get blown up. Look at the pieces. Let's grab all of this up. Not only did we kill every bandit in here, we've also blown their home up. That is a smashing success in my book. We should probably get home and check on all the work Cuddle Team Leader's been doing. That's a joke. I guarantee she's been sat around the campfire loafing around. Oh, what are you? You don't look friendly. That's for sure. I really don't want to fight it when we have so much loot on us. No, thank you. What a great day that hasn't had any crimes committed whatsoever. Oh, there's another of these things. No, don't lead us into the snowy biome, please. Let's make sure we eat some snowberries so that we have a bit of fire resistance. Lead me to the treasure, RGB fairy. Oh, why? No. Don't do it. That would be annoying. Well, here's the loot we were promised, but we are being circled by a wolf. Uh, pumpkin. And I died of cold. <laughs> No, I have nothing, Cuddle Team Leader. I'm finished. What are you doing roasting marshmallows? This is a serious time. I don't know if our items despawn like in Minecraft. Let's just try again, I guess. We'll make sure we get some snowberries before we go, though. Oh, wow, I'm cold. I'm losing health quickly. Please eat the berry. I think at night, the temperature actually drops. That's why we keep dying of cold. I mean, we can't really do anything right now, except just go to bed. And that doesn't even do anything. But what else can we do? Oh, wait, I know what we can do. We can have a little dance off with Cuddle Team Leader. What is my life? Look at those moves, though. I can actually talk to her while dancing, which looks very weird. I can't believe I've died for a third time. You know what I can do, though? I can make a cool transition from now to daytime. You ready? Bang! Let's do the walk of shame and retrieve our stuff. It all makes sense now as to why we died so quickly. I didn't realize that the temperature drops so much when it turns to night. Right now, we're still cold, but we're not freezing. Please, I need my stuff back. Oh, I see a little campfire over there. Wait, that person's about to die. Right, here's our backpack. Right, let's actually take this stuff out of the chest this time. We just about have enough room to fit everything. Trust me, mate, I'm not going to end up like the other guy. Come on in. Come on in. Yeah. Oh, we do no damage, and he's one tap. <laughs> That's our fourth death. Let's go. I'm not going to end up like the other guy, he says, before immediately ending up like the other guy. You know, I was really hoping my Minecraft experience would transfer over to this game, but uh, no. I'm rubbish. I think the monster has despawned, though, so our death wasn't quite in vain. Guys, chill. I didn't realize everyone was so aggressive. He's got a massive sword. No, 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 no. We can't fight this. They're acting like I'm the snow creature that just deconstructed their friend. We do have this crossbow. Oh, wow. Five damage. That was not worth it. And now they're all mad again. He has a silver crossbow. That probably means it's better than mine. Wow, that is a lot more area to explore than I thought. You know what, though? Let's go home and let's build things. Clearly, we're far too weak to engage in any kind of combat at the moment. Right now, the only creature we have any kind of combat superiority over are these chickens. Hello, cuddle team leader. You're useless. We have got 78 wood now, though. Let's make ourselves some planks. And now using those planks, we can make ourselves ourselves a chest. Let's place that down there. And we'll just cram it full of stuff. We're actually going to need to make a couple of these. Oh, no, I placed it back to front. That's so annoying. You know what? It's fine. Next, let's build this village square that Cuddle Team Leader wanted us to make. We actually get to choose an icon for it. So let's pick this castle. And that actually unlocks some new build recipes for us. Okay. I bet this village square will attract friends looking for a safe place to rest at night. We should ask a visitor to live at our village. Our village. Interesting. There's strength in numbers. You're not when they sit around the camp fire all day and do nothing but toast marshmallows. Please do something. Plus, anyone who moves in might be willing to help us gather resources. I sure hope so. I'll make up for you. This is Beef Boss. We've got a new villager. The sooner I get to sleep, the sooner I can have breakfast. Well, you're gonna have to provide for yourself, mate. I know I've got a big piece of bread in my hand, but you're not having it. 
I'll sleep at your village tonight. Well, there's one bed <laughs> and it's mine. So good luck. As much as I love to see the world, it'd be nice to have somewhere to stay. We've unlocked the double shack now. Let's put this here, right? And then we can use that to both house beef boss and cuddle team leader. And we can also put a bunch of crafting benches and all that kind of stuff in there. We have loads of wood, so I'm pretty confident we can build this. Oh, it has seven stages. Oh, no. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but the building system is actually really cool. We'll put the corners on like so. Then we put these bits on the front. Then we put this there. Certified master builder material. We are definitely going to have enough wood for this. This is perfect. And the final part is this tiny little wood piece here. Look at that. The double shack. Wait, hold on. These guys have a better house than me. Oh, okay. You finally done something useful. Fair play. Now, I believe if we put some beds in here, then Beef Boss and Cuddle Team Leader will come sleep. I could cram a bunch of beds in here like I do with my Minecraft villagers, but um, <laughs> they don't exactly live the best lives. So let's give these guys a bit of space. They can have a nice area. Do I have a spot for you to sleep? Yes, I do, Beef Boss. Make yourself a home. Oh no, his bed's not perfectly up against the wall. That's so annoying. Actually, wait, we could just break it and give him a new one. We're just gonna smash his bed to pieces. My axe broke. Let's give Beef Boss his proper bed. I'm also not seeing Cuddle Team Leader listed in the villagers list. Maybe because we got her from the start. I mean, it makes sense. Oh, skeleton. Thank you, guys. I'll take that pickaxe. Let's get our hunger back up by munching on some pumpkins. All right, Beef Boss, what's up? Oh, here we go. Let's talk jobs. Come on, Beef Boss. Let's get you working. Sure, what have you got for me? Come on, Cuddle Team Leader. You've got to take some cues from this. This is exactly what I want to see. You're already employee of the month. Our only option is explore. So let's explore. And now he's with me. I've got a companion. That is sick. There are some things I want to build, but let's leave that for night when we can't do anything else. Right now, Beef Boss, me and you, we're going on an adventure. And not that way, because you will die. Follow me. Yo, this is sick. Oh, it's one of these guys. Help me get revenge, Beef Boss. Oh, no, he did a lot of damage. No. Oh, I'm so weak. Beef Boss, please. Beef Boss. Oh, Beef Boss is way better at this than me. Oh, Wow, maybe you should be leading the village. I don't even know if your NPCs take damage. If they don't, he is an invaluable asset. Especially since I myself am not exactly particularly powerful. Oh, come on, let's get this wolf beef boss. Get him, beef boss. Yes, yes, no. Finally, some revenge. I wonder if you can get multiple minifigures to follow you. That would be insane. Imagine a whole army of Lego figures rushing over the hill. There's a big rock there. Oh, and there's some campfire smoke. Come on, beef boss. Maybe it's a village we can conquer. That is looking to me like a bandit outpost. Hello? Anyone here? Fairy! RGB fairy! Follow it, beef boss. Hurry! Forget this place. Please don't lead us into the snow biome. Please. Oh, there's a llama there. That's what this is leading us to. You might want to look away for this beef boss. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> he just collapses into a pile of pieces. We've got some more dynamite though, which I'm happy about. And we also have a crossbow that's full health. So let's get that equipped. I do want to go back and check out that deserted camp because there might be a chest there. Aha, uh -huh, there is a chest. Wait, 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 wait. This is just the bandit camp we've already looted. I dumped this sword in here. This is the wooden rod I left behind. So this was worthless. <laughs> At least we got the llama. I just didn't recognize it because we blew half of it up. Oh, that is a wolf. Get him, Beef boss, do all of the work. <laughs> That is perfect. Thank you, Beef Boss. I bet if we keep exploring, we'll find something. And that is definitely something. Mate, I'm not scared of you. I got Beef Boss. We are fine. Look at that. You're already dead. In terms of power scaling, I think Beef Boss is pretty close to being the ultimate being of this universe. Oh, hello. Die. I do so little damage. Beef Boss just charging in there. What a beast. Let's go. What have we got in this house? Any bandits? There is a chest. There's some silk and some arrows. Oh, look at this lake. That is awesome. Oh, you know what? What? We should definitely set up a village here. This place is really nice. We are pretty far from home though, so this might be a bit annoying to set up, but I definitely think this would make for a great base. For now though, we'll just keep exploring. Oh, there's a bridge there. I think I can see a structure through the trees. I'm not 100% sure. There's definitely something up there. Oh, hello, mate. Ow. I tried to roll out the way and still got hit. Thank you, Beef Boss. Good work as always. There's campfire smoke right there. So let's check that out and then go over there. Although it might just be a bridge. There's also a little cave there. Oh, these guys are definitely not friendly. Let's make sure we have our crossbow at the ready. Yep, not friendly. Die. See you later. Beef Boss, we got this. No, wait, I, I don't got this. You got this, Beef Boss. It's all you. <laughs> Get him. It's me and Beef Boss against the world. My sword broke. Let's just punch him. <laughs> 
Oh, that is brutal. Beef boss, you absolute champ. Let's go. I think his sword broke, though. He only has a pickaxe now. I'm pretty sure we can give him things, though. Uh, take this. Yeah, gift short sword. There you go. Now you have a weapon again. We've got a crate in here. Does this have anything in it? Let's break it. Oh, it has some stone inside. There's a barrel here. Let's break that too. Oh, I do no damage. This barrel's invincible. There's the chest. What was that? I have no idea what that blue thing was that just pushed us back. We have a shovel now. I hear voices. Oh, because there's more bandits showing up. Everyone's home. We'll make short work of you. I accept my sword broke again. I hear more. Beef boss, come on. Let's go. See, if that was just me, I would be dead in about three seconds. With beef boss, I am unstoppable. I do think we should get out of here before more bandits show up, though. We could take shelter in this cave for the night. Oh, yeah, look at that. Enter. Here we are, then, beef boss. We're in a cave. Well, oh, come on, then, beef boss. Let's explore this cave. I assume we can mine this stuff? No, we can't. Maybe we need a stronger pickaxe. There's a chest right here, though. I'll take a healthier sword. And there's some marble, too. As well as some corn kernels. Right, let's keep going, beef boss. There's yet another chest here. Wow. And there's one over there, too. And there's one over there. Why did the lights go off? I will take this torch, definitely. Because we can equip that in our offhand like this. Yeah. And we've got this granite slab, which is different to regular granite. We've just unlocked a grain mill. Okay. There's so much loot here. I'm seeing lots of seeds. We've got to figure out how to plant them. And there's also some cord. I'll take that. This stuff is definitely marble. We just don't have a good enough pickaxe to mine it. Final chest. There's a sword with more durability than the one I gave Beef Boss, so let's give that to him. Here you go. There's a better one. There's so much new stuff. What is a knot root? I don't even know. There's another chest here. We've got some slap berries, some corn kernels. Yeah, pretty much stuff we've already got. Have we looted this chest already? We have not. There's so much stuff. We just can't catch carry it all. I assume we can get up there somehow. Maybe up here? No. There has to be a way because there's a chest there. There's definitely a really obvious way up and I'm just completely missing it. How do I get up? I want that chest. Can we build some stairs maybe? Hold on. We could build a log lookout. Right. Let's place that there. Oh, look at that. That is perfect and we don't even need to finish it. Give me this chest. We've got some more knot root, whatever that is, and loads of marble. Let's build a second one and see what's up here. Oh, look at that. There's more chests. I love when you get rewarded for exploring. We've got some slurp mushrooms, some arrows. I'll take them. I don't know what to take and what not to take. I think the snowberry seeds would be quite good. And what's in here? We've got some silk, some bones, some wool, and a wolf claw. Oh, no. Ow. I'm going to assume that not every cave is loaded to the brim with loot like this. It should be daytime soon, I assume. Yes, it is. And now Beef Boss and I have to go all the way back home. Oh, there's a structure there. Hopefully, Cuddle Team Leader hasn't starved or anything. No, you don't. Nope. Oh, I'm, st I'm so bad. I dodge rolled in order to avoid him and still got hit. I think that house up there is the one we already looted, but I do see some smoke this way. It is bandit camp time. Headshots with this crossbow actually do a lot of damage. I mean, if I could hit people, that is. Boom, 10. Oh, that was insane. The crossbow is definitely our best weapon at the moment. We've got some silk. Some more feathers and corn kernels, which you don't really need. Okay, let's keep moving, beef boss. Listen, mate, you don't want to do this. I promise you. Too late. He's dead. Die, spider. Die. I'm really weak, actually. No, don't kill me. I have no health. Stop. Beef boss, please. Thank you. If we die out here, we're going to have to run all the way over to get our stuff. I see some kind of ruined castle over there, though. That is definitely worth exploring. This place is pretty cool. No, I'm cold, though. Why do these spiders have so much health? Wait, what? Beef boss, beef boss, I think it's time to leave. Beef boss, I don't think we have the capacities for this. You know what? Since beef boss is invincible, he can handle it. It's fine. Wait, Beef Boss! Beef Boss! Beef Boss, no! They killed Beef Boss! No! No, 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 this can't be. This can't be. I thought it was invincible. Beef Boss! No! Oh, there's so many. He was so good. Wait, I wonder if NPCs respawn. He does have a bed after all. I'm gonna hope so, otherwise I'm gonna feel immense guilt for sending him out there to die. <laughs> beef Boss! Oh, thank God you're alright. There is a wolf behind us, Beef Boss, so we should kill that first. Let's have a look in this chest here. It's all right. Oh, and what's this? A dynamite barrel. Don't mind if I do. Can we just throw it and detonate it? Oh my... Yeah, we can. Yeah, we... <laughs> no! No, it just killed me and Beef Boss and lost everything. I didn't think it was going to immediately blow up. Beef Boss, I'm glad you're back after I blew us both up with a pile of dynamite. We didn't actually die that far away. There's our backpack. So this shouldn't be the worst trip in the world. In my defense, I really didn't think that was going to explode on impact. What are we up to now? Five deaths? Six? I'm starting to lose track. 
There's our stuff, though. Thankfully, we didn't die that far away. There's even a random chest right there. Excuse me, mate. Just bear with me. I just need to get my stuff. Good work, beef boss. Beat him up. Let's go. I'm just gonna punch him. Let's go. Nice. Let's grab this chest in here, too. And we'll also collect this one. Oh, we got some milk. We can get some strong Lego bones. And we've also got some soil. I bet we can make some kind of farm with that. Oh, hello, fairy. Soil acquired. You know what, fairy? I'll follow you. Against my better judgment, I will follow you. No, don't go towards the castle. So that is not a good idea. Nice and simple, please. Just a loot llama or something. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far, please subscribe. We're trying to hit 500k by the end of 2024. And with your help, we can do it. Here's the chest. Lovely stuff. We've got some raspberries, some arrows. Those will be useful. And raspberry seeds. Uh, we can't really fit those, to be honest. Go away, spider. You know what, Beef Boss? You have the sword because I'm going to be using the crossbow. There you go. Beef Boss obviously isn't invincible. We know that now after he first got mauled by spiders and then I blew him to pieces but he does have a lot of health. So the crossbow is basically perfect because while he's distracting the enemies and fighting them up close we can fire off shots like this. Die please. Beef boss. <laughs> Beef boss come on. Boom. It feels so good to get revenge on these wolves. You can't headshot them the way you can with the Lego figures, though. Ow. We are cold, which is not good. I believe this bit should be fine, though. Yep, we made it out. No. Oh, I finally dodged it for once. And my arrows do zero damage, I think. Oh, no. We can get some damage in. There we go. Look at this. We might not be so frail anymore. Camp is apparently this way. We've somehow managed to do a big loop around. There it is. Home sweet home. Oh, there's some skeletons over there. Die. Oh, that is so satisfying. Boom. Boom. Oh, we've got another villager. She is called Bright Bomber. I think I'll stop at your village for the night. Please do. And then we can just say, live in my village. Apparently, she can't stay because the village is too crowded. If you improve the village level, I might reconsider. Okay. Right, that's our next step then. How do we upgrade? Oh, it's this big button here that says upgrade village. Great work, Mosey. We have enough resources, so let's do it. Oh, we can build a roomy shack now. Look at that. I would really like to get past the stage of shacks, though. Live in my village now. How is it still too crowded? Oh, we need to upgrade to level three. We can definitely do that. We have enough materials. Well, at least I thought we did, but it does not look like we have enough wood. Let's use the final piece of wood we have left to make a new axe. And we'll do a little bit of late night shopping. We got to get this upgraded so Bright Bomber will stay. Right, now we need to make ourselves some planks. Tomorrow, we're going to have to collect lots of resources because we do not have a lot of wood anymore. I'm also not sure how hard it would be to relocate everyone to the river, but I definitely want to do that at some point. All right, we should be able to upgrade now. All right, Bright Bomber, please. Now you can live in the village. Do you have a spot for me to sleep? Yes, we do. All right, so for her job, she can help the village. I don't know what that means. Resource jobs. Let's click that. Oh, you can actually get materials for us. Yes, please collect nearby resources. Just make sure I have have a crafting bench to craft my tools at. Yep, we've got that sorted. It will take me about one day to find something useful. That's better than Cuddle Team Leader, who has had more than enough days and has found nothing useful. Thank you, Bright Bomber. There's a ton of new crafting stations we can make now. Oh, look at that. We can actually build a really nice house now. I'm not going to do it, but that's sick. I don't actually know if we can migrate our villagers. I think we can take Beef Boss because he's following along. And I think Cuddle Team Leader will probably just teleport, but I don't know about Bright Bomber. I think what we should do is we should go out and collect lots of wood and stone so that we're ready to build the new village. And then after we've got a few buildings down and a village square set up, we can ferry over all of our items, which will definitely take a couple days. I think because Beef Boss has a pickaxe, he's gonna join in and help us mine stuff. That is really cool. I don't have an axe to give him, otherwise he could help us collect wood too. And my axe is broken now, so now we definitely have to go back and make some axes. Alright, let's craft two forest axes, and we'll also make a new pickaxe. Alright, Beef Boss, there's an axe for you, and now we can go ahead and do some chopping. You know what, Beef Boss? The Minecraft villagers could take some notes from you. You do a ton of damage, you help hard his materials. I mean, what more could I possibly ask for? And he does it all with a... I don't really know if that's a smile on his face. He is a walking burger man after all, but he doesn't complain. We need lots and lots and lots and lots of wood. I don't actually know if new trees spawn over time or if there's some way you have to replant them. I feel like this forest has definitely shrunk from what it used to be. We have over a hundred wood now, so I'm happy with that. Now let's start mining some stone with Beef Boss's help, and soon we'll be ready to migrate to our new home. There is also a Lego version of Redstone in this game, and I believe we can use it to make vehicles. I've seen some pretty cool clips of that. So hopefully at some point, getting around will become a lot easier. Beef Boss, what are you doing? Stop standing there. We must work, Beef Boss. We must work. Beef Boss, come on. Goodbye, Skirton. 
And my crossbow broke as well. Oh, hey, cattle team leader. Is everything all right? You came running out here like we were under siege, but no, we're fine. Oh, we've got a new person, Spark Plug. I think I'll stay at your village tonight. That's cool, because it probably won't exist in a week. I don't know if maybe if we build another village square, we can transfer the villagers here to there. I don't know. We're starting to run out of storage space, so I'm going to make yet another chest. Let's go chuck this in this building, and we'll just dump the stuff we won't be needing right now. All we really need now is a little bit more granite, which we'll get tomorrow. And now we can have a real dance party with all of our NPCs. Look at that. We're all so good at playing air guitar. Oh, sick. We can make a health charm. I think we have enough resources for this. Oh, we don't have any silk thread. In order to make that, we'll need to make a spinning wheel, but there's no point making it in this village. We'll just put it in the new one. I shouldn't be distracted, but there is another multicolored fairy. It's leading us into the snowy biome, though. That's not good. Let me grab some berries. Hopefully you resist the cold beef boss. Where's this loot? There's our chest. Some slap berries, snow berries, and raspberries. Well, that was a fun little detour. Let's head back to the base and then collect some more stone. I don't really want to collect it here because we're constantly losing health. What is that? Is that some kind of dragon monster thing? I want to attack him, but we don't even have a weapon at the moment. We just have two pickaxes. That is definitely not something we can survive at the moment. We'll get our health up, get a good base going, and then we can fight guys like him. Let's grab a little bit of stone while we're here. I gotta go make Beef Boss a new pickaxe as well. Here you go, Beef Boss. I think the next time we talk to Bright Bomber, she should have some resources for us. Oh, there she is. What do you have? I just started working. Check back in later. Oh, okay. There's lots of stone over here to collect. Beef Boss, <laughs> help. Thank you. I probably should have made a new crossbow because now I'm basically powerless against any enemy. Oh no, beef boss. I've also realized I was being dumb. If we hold a torch while we're in the snow biome, I believe that gets rid of the cold, at least the daytime cold. And there were loads of rocks there. So I definitely want to go harvest over that way. Good work, beef boss. Kill the enemy. Thank you. Oh no, beef boss. He's dead. Oh, I've only got this pickaxe, man. Do we really have to do this? Come on in, come on in. Oh, no, I missed, I missed. Die, please. He's so weak. Feel my fury. That's for killing beef boss, even though he's going to respawn in like five minutes. You're back beef boss. All right, let's keep mining up stone. Oh, wait, it's called granite. I keep forgetting. I just want enough materials so that once we get to the lake, we can build everything that we need and we don't have to worry about trying to rebuild this kind of village again. We have over a hundred granite now. That is perfect. I actually don't know how you craft a crossbow. It's not in the recipes at the moment. For now, we're going to have to settle with a short sword, which I don't love, but it's our only option. I'm sure sooner or later, we'll find a bunch of bandits who are willing to donate their crossbows to us. We can actually make ourselves a shield, which is cool. There we go. We got some offense and defense. And most of the offense comes from Beef Boss because he does a truckload of damage. We've got yet another villager showing up. Hey there, I'm Aura. If you're looking for adventure, you came to the right place. If anyone here's played Fortnite, not Lego Fortnite, but the Battle Royale, you know what Aura does and it's not adventure. Anyway, thank you, Aura. We know what your crimes are. There's not really a whole lot we can do apart from wait for the next morning. So we might as well cut to morning. You ready? Bang. Okay, let's do this. We're leaving this village behind. Well, kind of. We'll be back to get all of our stuff later, but we're going to start a new life. I don't mind our current spot, but the fact it's surrounded by the snow biome is very annoying. But also, we're going to have a great view when we're by the lake. We should be nearly there now. There's a lot of wolves in this forest. There's a whole pack of them. Nice, that's one. Come on, Beef Boss. That's two. Where's the last one? Maybe Beef Boss got him already. There he is. Let's go. Nice. Lego Fortnite is completely free to play. And if you do get it, which you definitely should, make sure you get yourself a guy like Beef Boss. He is carrying this playthrough. We're also at the lake. That is such a nice view. We do have to evict the current owners though. So let's get to work doing that. And now we'll go ahead and clear this cornfield so we've got space to build. Anyway, let's first build our village campfire. And then we'll place down the village square as well. We'll use a yellow icon for this one. And it doesn't look like we can transfer our villagers over. Anyway, what a village needs is housing. So let's get some place down. Let's construct all of this. Let's get that built and that built. We're going to speed build this place. Boom, boom, boom. Then we put a door in. Boom. And the pillars. Boom, boom. This part goes there. We get some walls in there. There we go. Then the corners are placed on. Then we place this bit here, this bit here, and this bit here. This is eating through our wood supplies very quickly, so I'm glad we brought a lot. I'm really hoping that we can somehow make Beef Boss stay in this village if we provide a bed for him. And we're very nearly done building this shack. 
back. There we go. It's done. Now, how's this for a home? This is roomy. We've already got a villager showing up. Please stay here. Hopefully, we have just about enough wood to build a second shack. Even if we don't have enough, I think we'll be really close. So, we can just go collect more wood. We are starting to get a little bit low on food, which isn't great. We have just about enough wood to get this last piece in. Very nice. The double shack is complete. This is basically an upgraded version of our first village. We do, however, need a bit more wood because we need to make beds. Oh, go away. Wait, what am I talking about with food? We've got 17 raspberries. We've got pumpkins. We've got corn. We've got snowberries. What is wrong with me? Look how nice this looks with the mountain in the background, the base by the lake. That's perfect. We do need to make a couple of the key workstations, like a crafting bench. We'll place a bed in here for spark plug. When we have more wood, everyone can have their own house. But uh, right now, we're just going to chuck all the beds in here. All right, now if I talk to you, live in my village. Yes, I do have a spot for you to sleep. Now, here's the true test. Can we assign Beef Boss to this village? No, see, he heads back to the first village. That's no. Maybe if we remove the original village, then he can move here. I don't know. Ah, Skirton, go away, please. No. Oh, there's so many. Good work, Beef Boss. Good work. Nice. The wood we brought ran out a lot quicker than I expected, so tomorrow we're gonna have to do a lot of chopping to make some chests and workbenches and all that kind of stuff. I'm also gonna set my spawn at this bed, and then Beef Boss just stands there. Thank you. Beat that skirton to death. Thanks, guys. Judging by the color of the sky, I think it's going to be daytime soon. I love how beef boss is just standing guard. Okay, there we are. It is daytime. And it's going to be a long day of chopping lumber. At least now we can afford to make an axe for both ourselves and for beef boss. We're probably going to need another hundred logs or so. Ah, yes, beef boss. Run headfirst into the tree. That's really useful. I would love to know how to make some stronger tools too, because the ones we can currently make break so quick. Chopping more trees. Chopping more trees. I am causing deforestation. We need as much wood as we can possibly get. We have three stacks now. We should definitely be enough to get some more things built. First, let's get a lumber mill placed down. And we will make some planks with that. In the corner in this building, we'll also make a grill. And now we can grill a ton of meat. I think instead of putting the chest in the house, we're gonna need to get our own chest building. And this gives us an excuse to build the new log shed. It is really satisfying watching all the Lego pieces stack together. Let's put in a door. Gotta have a door. And another pretty important element of buildings are walls. I'm getting pretty fast at putting all of this together now. This does use a pretty painful amount of wood, but I think it's worth it. And this should be the final bit. Yeah, there we go. The log shed is done. Let's go collect all of this grilled meat. And we have a good food source to work with now. We've got this torch in the corner to provide a bit of light, because without it, it's a bit dark in here. Now then, let's go ahead and place down some chests. I think I probably should have put the torch somewhere else. Now we got to get it again. Let's put the torch in this corner instead. There we go. Then we'll replace this chest here. Oh, we've got another villager. Howdy, partner. I'm Hayseed. Just holler if y'all need some. See, I think that's a good accent. I think I'll stop at Yara Village. <laughs> okay, that wasn't very good. Let's place down a bed for him as well. And now we invite him to stay. Oh, we don't have a high enough village level. Well, let's get this place upgraded. That animation is really cool. Oh, and I'm getting beaten up. Kill him. We just need 10 more wood and then we can upgrade again. I don't want him leaving in the morning. So come on, beef boss. We've got to go collect some wood. Good work, mate. Keep him occupied. All right. And now we should have enough wood for a level Oh, we need planks. Not to worry. We can get those sorted. All right. And now we should be able to upgrade. Boom. Level three. And now you can stay here. Oh, no, you can't because we're getting attacked. Now you can stay here. Can I assign you any jobs? We can get him to collect nearby resources. That's helpful. We'll do that. And what can you do, Spark Plug? You can also collect nearby resources. Please do that. Oh, this guy's off on a mission. See you later, mate. I'm fairly certain we don't need to worry about trees because I swear some of these weren't there the other day. I'm fairly sure these things spawn on their own. They must do. And my axe broke. Great. I still have not got an actual weapon, which is a bit of a pain. Come on. I'm just hitting him with a pickaxe. These wolves are a pain. Come on, Beef Boss. We've got lumberjacking to do. Is there anything cool? on this bridge. There's a box. Does the box have anything in it? I don't think so. You really do burn through your wood supplies quick when you're trying to build stuff. Also, I see a glowy thing over there. I don't know if it's actually worth it though, because we really just need wood to be honest. Oh, go on then. It's going to annoy me if we don't get this. What have you got for us? It wasn't leading us to this, but I don't think... Oh, I think we have looted this house actually. I wonder if we can get some wood from breaking it. It takes way too long to break this. It is not worth it. Show me the way, Rainbow Spirit. The wolves are so annoying. Let's just beat him up. Come on, beef boss. Nice. 
All right, here's the chest. Please be good. What have we got? Oh, we've got some soil. That's definitely going to help us for our farm. We could take these crops. We have enough room. Our axe is broke, so I'm actually going to make a crafting bench to make another one. And we might as well craft a second for a backup. Oh, hold on. I didn't see this tab. There's a bench upgrade. That's how we can get the next tier of tools. Anyway, let's break that. And now we just keep chopping. Good work, beef boss. Good work. I definitely see some kind of structure up ahead. Oh, hooray. There's a wolf getting involved. Involved. Yay. Oh, I'm one of those rolly things. At least the wolf's nearly gone. Yes. What a great team effort this is. I'm going to pretend that I'm doing something and it's not beef boss, just hard carrying. Oh, come on. Come on. Nice. Because of the snowberries, this is definitely a cold area. So hopefully we don't get attacked by those spiders like last time. That looks like a good chest though. That looks different to the usual ones. We got some milk, a pumpkin, and a slurp mushroom. Oh no, it's nighttime. We're going to start taking way more damage. Let's get out of here. These wolves are so annoying. And now we got the skeletons to deal with too. They just keep spawning. They don't stop. We got to get back home. Why did it have to rain? That just makes my character cold. Let's get rid of this fella. Send him back to the undead realm. I'm going to be honest. It's not looking too good. As long as when they attack, they attack beef boss. Because he's not carrying an entire inventory full of stuff that would be a massive pain to lose. Go away, wolf. As soon as we get back, we are absolutely upgrading the crafting bench and getting better tools. I really miss my crossbow. I miss being able to insta-kill these guys. I would imagine that with a level 2 workbench, we can probably craft crossbows. Wait, the skeletons are attacking a wolf. How did this start? Don't attack beef boss. We just need to watch this. Oh, he's just dispatched both of them. How on earth does a fight between skeletons and wolves start? Thankfully, the night is over now, so we can get back home. Hopefully, mostly unharmed. Beef boss is getting chewed up by a wolf. Die, please. Come on. They're so weak, but so am I. Beef boss, help. I don't want to die. We've got so much stuff. Oh, let's go, beef boss. Okay. We just have to beat up this other wolf. Come on. He's really weak. Die. Ow. Come on. Die. There we go. We're nearly home now. There's the campfire smoke. Ooh. Get away from me. We're just both punching him because neither of us have tools anymore. Come here, you little spider thing. Die. There we go. Home sweet home. And I think we have someone new. Yeah. This guy is called Otis. We don't actually have a slot for him at the moment in the village. And it's going to take another two upgrades before we have the slot. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of planks. We can also start putting stuff in our chests. It looks like the torch despawned. I guess we could put monster parts in this one. Then we could put our spare food and seeds in this one. Then we'll place down another two chests like so. Oh, wait. They're not even. That's so annoying. Let's put the chest down pretty properly this time. And we now have a pretty solid storage room. I don't know why I'm holding a baguette. We'll use this chest for materials. I expect it's going to be empty a lot of the time. And then this chest can be for miscellaneous stuff. It feels good to finally get some organization done in this place. Also, hello, spark plug. Have you got anything on your adventures? If you need resources, I've got some. She's got stuff for us. I'll take some vines. I'll take some silk. And I'll take some fertilizer. Thank you, spark plug. Great work. And and what about you, farmer guy? I've forgotten your name. Hayseed. He's got wheat. He's got wood. And he's got fertilizer. Thanks, Hayseed. Our NPCs are pulling their weight. This is amazing. I can't believe for the longest time I didn't see this bench upgrade button. Let's get that done. And there we go. We've unlocked the next tier of tools. The pickaxe requires knot root rods. And I remember we got some knot root from one of those caves. Well, I didn't actually pick it up, but that's where we found it. Oh, Aura's shown up. There's so many people showing up and we don't have any room for them. Look at this shack. Does it look like it can house multiple people? No. We do also need knot root in order to upgrade our village level, so we're gonna have to go caving. While I think about it, let's get all the meat we got from the wolves grilled. While we can't make the next upgrade of pickaxe yet, we can actually make an upgraded forest axe. I'll take one for me and one for beef boss. Here you go, beef boss. Here's your brand new axe. You're gonna do a lot of work with it. I've also just realized we can craft candles, which should mean we can light places up. We'll also chuck a couple in the storage shed. The village is really starting to come together. We do need some stairs for the front of the house though i always have to jump up i'm also gonna make a short sword for both me and beef boss here you are beef boss here's a short sword not only are we both armed we have better pickaxes we are sorted let's grab all of this grilled meat and i think the best plan of action is to empty our inventory and head back to the original village grab all of our stuff and maybe jump in some caves along the way we'll get a few torches placed down in the house what is this weird gold border about i think that might be how far our village extends out to maybe like the border of it i'm honestly not 100 sure anyway let's now place down a spinning wheel 
And then we can use that to turn all of our silk into silk thread. I would really like to craft this health charm. The only thing we're missing is a piece of marble, and we have plenty of that back at the original base. For now, though, there's not really a lot to do until daytime. Oh, no, I think I built the spinning wheel backwards. Whoops. We'll sort that out when we get back. For now, let's make our way over to the original base. It is a bit of a trek, but with our improved gear, I'm sure it's easy to handle. Oh, my days. What is that? Um, I don't suppose we could have a little chat. Nope, he's just done two and three quarters hearts of damage. Be fast, no! Oh, this is bad. Is there any chance we could maybe not kill me? Well, he's just killed the wolf. That's fine. Kill him. I'm gonna just hide behind this rock. Please don't see me. What even is that thing? I think he's gone back to sleep. Oh, Beef Boss, please no. Beef Boss, Beef Boss. I appreciate the effort, Beef Boss. I am not helping you and he's dead already. Beef Boss is already dead. Oh my God. Please don't check around here. Please don't check around here. I think we're okay. We'll just sneak past. Just keep sneaking. Okay, run, run. I think we're in the clear. It looks like Beef Boss has finally met his match, but it's all right. We'll get him geared up and we will definitely take that creature on at some point. There's no way I can let him get away with killing Beef Boss. In terms of power scaling, Right now, we've got me at a solid C, Beef Boss at an A, and then that guy, whatever it was, at an S+. Plus. Ooh, there's a barrel of dynamite. I'll take that. And there's a wolf over here. This is perfect. What's up, my friend? Have you ever heard of dynamite to the face? Beef Boss! No! Beef Boss! Why would you do that? Why would you run up to a lit barrel of dynamite? What is wrong with you? I think we've got to put Beef Boss in the B tier. I'm sorry. I just don't think he has the intelligence to back up his power. I mean, he's a great guy, obviously, but who runs towards a lit barrel of dynamite? Beef Boss, can you help me, please? <laughs> don't just stand there. This video has changed from I survived 100 days in LEGO Fortnite to me and Beef Boss survive 100 days in LEGO Fortnite. I recognize this forest. I think we're close. Oh, I've just run headfirst into a wolf. Oh, Beef Boss though. What a tank. While we're here, actually, we might as well make the most of it and collect some wood. Oh, a tree just landed on my head and then sent me flying. You know you can't get away with that tree. This is what's going to happen. You're going to become part of my house. I really want to unlock the castle build pieces. Those will be awesome. Beef boss, help me. Thank you. This axe is so much better. It's not even at half health yet. We've got plenty of wood now. We're just lacking in the granite department. Here it is, the original village. Why is the roof of our house missing? What happened here? Hello, cuddle team leader. Useless as always. Now we simply need to take all of the useful items. We did ask Bright Bomber to do a job for us, so she should have some resources. She's got soil, which we will take, but she also has fertilizer and feathers, which we don't need. Let's grab all of these useful items. Look, we got Meowsicles, the cat guy. If only you showed up to the other village. Trust me, bro, it's way better there. We do need to make our way back, and I don't think daylight's gonna last much longer, so once we find a cave, we'll just head in there for the night. You don't wanna do this. Get him out of here. It's so much easier when you actually have a sword. There's a cave here, which I don't believe we've explored yet. Ooh, get juked, mate. Right, in the cave we go. Oh, we definitely haven't explored this before. Can we mine these? I think we can. We only get mushrooms though. That's not that useful. If we chop this stuff, we should be able to get knot wood. Yeah, there we go. Knot root. I think beef boss has died because I don't see him anywhere. Oh, that skeleton has some armor on, I think. Oh my, he just did half my health. No, 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 no. Thank goodness he's slow as anything. Die, he takes so many hits to go down. Oh, and there's another one up here. Great. At least I got Beef Boss this time. Beef Boss, use your sword. Oh, I think it broke, maybe. People are going to ask me, how was your weekend? And I'm going to have to tell them that I spent it yelling at a Lego minifigure with a burger for a head. It's definitely nighttime now because it is very dark in this cave. Our sword's also broken, which is really not good. I guess we'll have to resort to using the axe. Oh, die, skeleton. There we go, you old pile of bones. All of this knot root is miles up in the roof. The more we get, though, the more we can upgrade our tools. It is pitch black in here. We can't get up here right now, but no fear. We can build another staircase like we did last time. I think this rock on the wall is blocking it, so we have to remove that first. There we go. Oh, we actually didn't even need to do that. We've unlocked the stairs. We could just build those. Well, good to know, at least. And we found a chest. Uh, none of this is really that great. We could swap the corn for our pumpkin. That's about it. This cave just goes on and on. Get him, Beef Boss. Let's go. Beating up the skeleton. Nice. There's more up ahead. That's not ideal. There's three in here. No. And a spider. I don't want to use my axe because it's low on durability. Get him, Beef Boss. Get him. Oh, I'm really weak. I would really not like to die here. Beef Boss clutching up as always. There's another chest here with a shovel. Oh, we've got a marble slab. And there's a skeleton beating me up. I want to get some of the armor he's wearing. That looks really useful. I don't even know how we're going to get out of this place. We found ourselves another chest though. And it's got some marble. So that's useful. Is there anything up this way? We've got more friends. That's great. 
No! Oh, my days. At the very least, we can get prepared with some tools and food before we go. And we can also make a few torches so we can actually see this time. Right, we've got ourselves a sword. I guess we better make one for Beef Boss too. All right, let's journey out and hopefully find our stuff. There it is. That's the Cave of Misfortune. We do have to fight a wolf to get to it, but that's not exactly hard anymore. All right, here we go again. This is the wrong way. To be fair, I'm pretty sure we've killed most of the skeletons already. We seem to have missed one though. No, you don't. Now, where on earth did we die? That's the main problem. There's a trail of bones here. That could lead us somewhere. Oh, it was up here. There we go. We found our stuff. We do not have a full inventory though, so we got to sacrifice something. We don't really need these bones or these raspberry seeds. We'll take the soil, the fruit pie. We won't take the spider because I don't want him. And we could also ditch these wolf claws. We have so many of these at this point. And with that, we'll grab the snowberry seeds. Oh, and the eggs. Eh, we don't really need the corn. Let's grab these eggs. I know what you are. Get out of here. Trying to hide as a boulder. You don't fool me. Well done, Mosey. You weren't fooled by a rock monster in a children's game. <laughs> really well done, mate. There's another chest here, which I assume we haven't looted. We have not. But it sucks anyway, so what's the point? I guess we could grab some more knot root while we're here. Have we looted this chest? We haven't, but it's not very good anyway. Another spider hiding as a boulder. Get him! No, beef boss. I shouldn't find it funny when he dies, but it is quite funny. My sword's broken, so we might need to get out of here in a minute. I did see that we can now craft the next tier of sword, which is going to be really nice because the first one breaks all the time. But anyway, let's get out of here. I also did not realize how little health we have. Now, for some weird reason, the map has actually reset itself, which is a bit confusing, but I think we can find our way back. It's kind of a shot in the dark here because I don't really know where we're going. I'm happy to guesstimate a little bit here. Have we looted this? We have not looted this, I don't think. That at least tells us that we're going in somewhat the wrong direction. Oh, I feel like I've seen this structure before. This is something. I'll take the milk, thank you very much, and the soil. Here you go, weird stone bug. Have a crate to the face. I missed. No, beef boss, don't kill him. I want to throw a crate at his head. Come on. Oh, I got him. I got him, I think. I hope that wasn't beef boss just chopping him into pieces. Hopefully that was a really cool box throw. Now we just punch this. There's another dynamite barrel. I will take that. Move out the way, beef boss. We're about to cause a bit of destruction. That was kind of lame. Oh, wait. It did some damage. I thought it was going to blow the entire bottom out, though. Oh, hold on. Hold on. We were definitely here before. Maybe? This feels so familiar, surely. Also, please blow up. Come on. Yes! There's some smoke, but it's not our village. I got excited, but it's just part of that structure. We 100% are going to find our base. Are you aggro? Oh, you are definitely aggressive. Okay. I just realized I don't have any tools. Run, Beef Boss, run! Where are we? This is the ocean. This isn't the base. There's more cannons campfire smoke this way. Can this wolf just chill? We're trying to find our lost home here. The way he just disintegrates into a pile of Lego pieces is amazing. Oh, these guys are aggressive as well. I'm sorry. I just want some directions. I didn't realize that was too much to ask. It's raining and we're all cold and wet. This sucks. Oh, hold on. I didn't realize at the bottom of the screen, we've got some coordinates. I can check back in the recording and see the exact coordinates of our base. Apparently, it should be back this way. And there's also a level two chest. We've got some heavy wool. That's epic rarity. And some raspberries. Die. Come on. I'm just punching. There we go. Oh, there's a river. This is good. We should be on the right track then, surely. Oh no, there's an ice wolf over there. We shouldn't be too far off now. Wait, 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 wait. Are you kidding me? Because of where we popped out in the caves, you see how the reset focus and back button covers up the markers? I thought the map broke. No, it just turns out I couldn't see where our base was. Oh, oh. no wonder none of the terrain looked familiar. It's because we popped out of a cave miles away from the original entrance. At least we have this torch to keep us from freezing. Oh, do you see that last minute dodge? Get him, beef boss, get him. Yeah, nice work. We're such a great team. The bright side of this is that at least we managed to explore a fair bit of the map and we managed to find where a beach is, which is good because we need several resources from there. There has to be a way to properly get rid of cold in this game. Maybe some winter clothes or something? Ow. Oh, please don't die here. No, 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 no. Please do not die here. Beef boss. Beef boss, stop moonwalking. Get him. Thank you. Nice. That was a great fight that I helped in. Got some raspberries and some more milk in here. Lovely. We're close now. 
We're close. Come on. I want to go home. We did also get loads and loads of knot root from the caves. So we're going to be able to make lots of good tools. Ow. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Thank you. Oh, I see it. There's the ruined house on the hill, which means our base should be down there somewhere. There it is. Our home. I sure am glad to see this. Oh, it is good to see you all again. Let's get all of our goodies put in our chests. Let's grab all the silk from our spinning wheel. Let's make a bunch of knotwood rods. And we should be able to upgrade the village to level four in a second. And now using our knotwood rods, we can make a long sword as well as an upgraded pickaxe. We'll make a second one for beef boss. And we can also make ourselves the uncommon health charm. And that goes in this slot, I believe. We'll also make two new axes and we will donate one to beef boss. And in just a second, we'll be able to upgrade this village to level four. Also, if we make some cords real quick, we can put these towards a new crossbow. I'd definitely like to get the village upgraded and see what else we can build. These shacks are okay, but we could definitely get something better. We now use all the cord we just made to make a drawstring. We got the machines doing overtime right now. I think soon we might actually upgrade to a second lumber mill because just having the one is a bit annoying. I want to make knot root rods right now, but I can't because we have to make planks. Also, looking at the sword that we currently have in our hand, this is what those snow bandits were holding when they attacked us. It's a good job we didn't fight them or they would have dusted us in a second. I believe we should have enough resources now. Yeah. Yes, we do. Upgrade village. Oh, we could build a new bed too. We can build a watchtower now. I bet that's crazy expensive for wood though. And we can also make a proper cabin. Look at that. We've got Junior and we've got the dad cabin. Let's also go ahead and refine this heavy wool that we got. And now we can make our brand new crossbow. We have a crossbow again and it's even better than the last one. We're not that far off getting the next village upgrade. We do need to add in some more buildings because our storage room definitely doesn't have enough space. We need extra chests. We need to build an area to put down all of these new workstations that we've got. However, I don't think we should actually build anything until we've upgraded our village because that's what's going to get us the brand new structures like these for example the log watchtower the log cabin who knows what we'll unlock next i don't want to spend all our resources building a log cabin and then it turns out that the next upgrade gives us something way cooler to make we're really close to having enough the only thing we're missing is one piece of marble while i remember i'm also going to make some arrows and it looks like another trip to the caves is in order hopefully it doesn't go as poorly as it did last time as soon as we got home we just made so much progress new sword new pickaxe new cross bow. We got the village upgraded. It is looking good for us. Oh, this sword is so good. We've already done so much damage. Let's go. Are these bandits over here? What are you guys? Oh, they definitely are. Face the might of the blade. Oh my days. This sword is insane. It's only the level two sword as well. I think it's because we've had such rubbish tools for so long. Finally getting some good ones is just amazing. Well, we've arrived at our next cave. Oh wait, we've already looted this. Look, you can see the staircases that haven't been built. We can, however, collect some of this marble now. And that's really what we're here for anyway. We also need an additional 35 pieces of marble to make the stone breaker. So we need to do a fair bit of mining. This stuff is everywhere though so it shouldn't be too difficult. Just an honest day's work. Nothing more, nothing less. I mean, to be fair, I am kind of exploiting Beef Boss for his free labor, but it's fine. Another day of hard and mostly honest work. We'll just mine till our pickaxe breaks, which is probably going to be fairly soon. And it's gone. Go on, Beef Boss. Keep mining. Please, Beef Boss. Go on, Beef Boss. Help. <laughs> do something, please. You're the only one who has a good pickaxe. Nope, he just doesn't understand. Okay, we do now have 91 pieces of marble, though, so we really do not need any more at the moment. It is the dead of night, but thankfully, not only are we close to home, we also have this amazing sword and a good crossbow, so I'm really not worried. You see that wolf over there? Boom. Then we take out the sword. Boom. Oh. I just two hit him. I mean, granted he was already damaged from the crossbow, but still, that is so much easier. There's loads of skirtons here. Boom, boom, two hit. Boom, boom, two hit. It feels like we've just got a massive power increase. What's up? Boom, boom, dead. He's already dead. Now he's extra dead. Roll in, ninja style. Bang, bang, dead. If they release Lego Ninjago style outfits for this game mode, I would buy them in a heartbeat. I've also been walking the wrong way. The base is over there, and I was trying to walk that way. Now we just gotta swim across very slowly. Everyone knows that 
the reason Lego figures can swim is because they're made of plastic, so they float. Die. Goodbye. And now if we go ahead and make a bunch of planks, we'll have all the resources to go to level 5. And then we'll be able to recruit another villager, which is probably going to be you. I don't know if we can have multiple of the same charm equipped, but I want to give it a go. If we can start stacking these health charms, we'll have so much health. All right, let's give it a try. It works. Look at our health now. We definitely need another lumber mill. This is so slow waiting for this one to be done. Oh, wait, we can't actually upgrade yet because apparently we need to increase the village rating by adding to the village. I guess we're going to be building this log cabin after all. I'm hoping that at some point we unlock some kind of path block or something like that because then we can actually make paths connecting the houses together. Right now, I'm kind of just throwing everything in at random. Oh, now this is a complicated build right here. Boom, boom. And this piece goes there, and this piece goes there, and that one goes there. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. I don't know why I'm explaining it all. This build is very resource intensive, but it's going to provide a ton of space for chests. I mean, already, just look at the room in here. We're onto our last stack of wood already, though. That is really painful. The graphics have no right being this good. Why is this so nice? We're in for another wood gathering session soon, I fear. No, we don't have enough wood anymore. We've run out completely. Oh, Lord be boss we're gonna have to be chopping a lot of wood right let's go grab some more wood for our storage shed build i've actually found out that after a few days trees respawn in the same place where you chop them down so we'll never have to worry about running out of wood sup wolf and you're dead it is so nice that the wolves aren't a challenge anymore we've got over four stacks of wood now so that should last about five minutes. The village is starting to come together though. It looks quite nice. Let's get this roof filled in. Here it is. This is the last piece. Now, the one thing I would like to know is can we break this wall without damaging the rest of the house? Because it doesn't make sense to have a random wall in our chest room. Ugh, smash it down. Yeah, look, only that bit's being damaged. Perfect. There's nothing quite like self-inflicted property damage. Let's place a few candles down in here to get it lit up. And let's actually hold off real quick on placing chests in here because we should soon be able to make the medium chests. Let's relocate this grill, and then we can place a stone breaker in here. And then we can use that to make a ton of marble slabs, which we'll use for the upgraded chests. And then we'll just place the grill in here. Now that I think about it, we'll also put the spinning wheel the right way around. There we go. That's better. What we mainly need right now is lots and lots and lots of knot root. It's just going to be me and Beef Boss chopping a bunch of the stuff in caves, and that's pretty boring. So I'm not going to make you watch it. I'll see you guys in a second. And we are back. We now have 123 knot root. So first things first, let's get this village upgraded. Level five. Let's go. Look at the new house we can make now. That is gigantic. This cat fella's also shown up. Meow schools, so we can record recruit him to the village. Let's add in a bed for him. Oh, this is getting so cramped. Right, so we've now got our third villager, I believe. And now that all of our marbles been turned into marble slabs, we can start making all of those upgraded chests. We'll place one there, another one there, and another one just there. Then we'll get another chest placed here. And now we got a cart over all of our stuff. Looks like we have ourselves a visitor. We'll put all of our building materials in this one. Then we'll put monster parts in here. Food in this one. And since we've only got four big chests at the moment, everything else will go in this one. I guess we could just fill it up with smaller chests for now, actually. No, I just threw dynamite in there. No. I was breaking the chest with my hands and then I got dynamite in that specific slot. So then I ended up throwing it because I was still clicking. Oh, this poor shack. You know what? I think it's possible for us to renovate this. The first problem is the missing floor. So we'll replace that. Then we simply need a log wall like so. And oh, it's already fixed. Okay, great. That was way less painful than I thought it was going to be. And one last thing, the floorboards. In here, we're going to move our first lumber mill and all also build two more. Let's talk to Spark Plug, see what she's got. She's got wood, she's got soil, and she's got vines. Nice. Let's also assign Meow Schools a job. We could get him to cook food for us. That's useful. He doesn't even require food from our chest, so that's really useful. Finally, there's Hayseed over here. He's got silk, feathers, and wheat. We need a fair bit of stone, and it looks like Beef Boss doesn't have a pickaxe. Oh, we've got a glowy fairy. To be honest, if it isn't a llama, this is probably not worth it, but let's follow along. Looks like it's leading us to this campfire smoke. Oh, thank you. Lead me right into a gang of bandits. That's really useful, fairy. Thanks so much. Beef boss is also nowhere to be seen, so it looks like we've got to handle this ourselves. That's headshot one, two. Oh, beef boss is 
back. Ah, there we go. Nice. We handled that. Is this it? There's no loot. There's no nothing. Thanks, fairy. We don't have any stone, which is why we need to collect some more. Thankfully, it's very plentiful, and it's also going to respawn in a few days. I would also like to renovate the village at some point and move the villagers out from their shared shack. That might come as a shock to some people, knowing how I treat them in my Minecraft videos, but yeah, I'm feeling nice. Our sword is broken, so we're going to have to make a new one when we get back. I didn't find a small enough staircase for this place, but I did find this roof tile, which actually actually lets us just walk straight up. We can use it as a ramp. Oh, I didn't properly connect it. That's annoying. It actually looks like that's the closest we can build it. Any further and it's invalid. Oh, well, there's another person visiting. There's so many people showing up, but we just don't have any slots for more villagers yet. Let's go ahead and move this lumber mill. We'll place one there. It's a little bit too cramped in here, so I think what we should do is tear down the entire shed and build our own one. That way, we can make it to the exact size to suit our needs. The roof should collapse if we take out all the support beams. Down it comes. I hope there wasn't an NPC under that, because if there was, they've now been squished. It is taking a while to demolish this place. Now, all we're left with is the foundation. Let's place down another one like so. And we might as well just connect two more at the front. Wow, I have done a terrible job of that. That's nowhere near close. What are these curtains doing? You leave that chicken alone. There's so many of them. What did this chicken ever do to these guys? Come on, villagers, help out. Yes. Don't worry, chicken. Wherever you are, the chicken has been successfully defended. Let's get that foundation placed and that foundation placed. Nice. That's a bit better. First things first, we'll get the corners placed in. Then we'll do the walls. No. Then we'll do the walls. Look at that. It's all coming together nicely. And then on the front, we can add some double doors. That will look sick. Then we fill in these gaps like so. And we fill in these tiny holes here. Slowly but surely, it's all coming together. We're actually going to whack some stairs in temporarily because we need to be able to access the roof. I'm really hoping this roof all fits together the right way. We're just going to have to wait and see. Oh wait, this is already misaligned. Brilliant. And I've put this piece the wrong way around as well. Look, that's a flat wall when it should be showing the logs. So that goes there. And then that piece goes there. And that bits off by one stud. I am really messing this up. Okay, I think we're starting to get somewhere now. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting the hang of this. Then we do this side. There's been a slight miscalculation. We actually don't have the correct size pieces to fill this roof correctly. That's all right, though. We can make a few changes. Wait, what? Why did the village square just break? What? I have no idea what caused that. It does thankfully keep all the previous upgrades, though, so it's not a problem. Imagine if we had to upgrade it from scratch again. That would have been a pain. The new design for this build is going to be a flat roof with some extra designs on it. There we go. And you know what? We could actually turn this into an open air platform up here. We'll put a couple of these pillars in the corners. And then if we grab some planks, we can then put some fences up here. Look at this. Now we're talking. Ow! Hey, don't throw things at me. I don't have a sword or any bolts in my crossbow. Go on, villagers. Do all the work for me. Thank you. We do actually need a small extra bit on the side so that we can set up some stairs. Actually, instead of having the staircase on the outside, we could just put it on the inside. First things first, actually. Let's get a floor placed in here. And there we go. Then we add in the stairs. And since there's no smaller variants of the shack floors we used, we're gonna have to break them. We'll replace them with the rustic floor. That one goes there. Oh, wait, that's wrong. Oh no, wait, the fences aren't connected to the build anymore. <laughs> this whole frame is messed up. Wait, can I hit it off? Come on, fall over. I want to see it fall over. This is not how you build a Lego house. My word, I am a terrible architect. I can't seem to get this thing to fall off. So even though it'd be really funny, we're just going to have to break it off. I can't believe this went so horribly wrong. Oh, there we go. That bit fell down. Round 16. Surely we can build this correctly this time. Right, the roof has now been replaced and we've got a nice handy set of stairs to take us back up. Now what we need to do is replace these pillars and the fences. And the way this goes is one little fence, two little fence, and then one giant fence. And there we are. The second floor is complete. Now we simply find a way to jam all the roof pieces together to make an actually okay roof. I think for the sake of consistency with our other shed, we'll make this roof in blue. Now we should be nearly done in a second. I'm going with these spikes on the roof so it doesn't look completely flat and boring up here. And there we go. It is done. Let's take down 
down this staircase. And look at that. That is our very own unique Lego structure. We've got a nice staircase up here. Leads us to this section. We've got fences. Complies with OSHA so we're not going to get sued. We've got a lovely roof. It is perfect. I went through so much food building that because I took so long to decide what I wanted to make. Thankfully, I've been grilling some corn on the cob. But yeah, we went through a ton of food. The village square has somehow disappeared again. So let's get it put down. I would love to know how to make light sources other than the candles because these look really cool but they have ingredients that i don't know how we get like bright core for now we've just got to stick with the candles we can actually put them on top of the fences which is good and you know what i'm really happy with this build now let's get a few lumber mills placed down and then we can get one more placed against the wall we do also need a bunch of granite slabs so let's get those made has meow school's got any food for us he has grilled meat corn on the cob and fried eggs what a legend. And he gave us loads too. Never thought I'd be eating fried eggs made by a humanoid cat. But here we are. And now we have multiple lumber mills working at once. That is lovely. We should also be able to upgrade the village to level 6 soon. Oh, what is that? Oh, I just got hit by lightning. Let's make ourselves a new longsword. And we'll also make a bunch of arrows. Thanks to our villagers, we have loads of feathers to make these. Up here, we can place down a grain mill. This allows us to turn food into seeds. And we can also make stuff like flour. And now we can also make make a juicer. And this allows us to turn our berries into juice, which has a whole range of positive effects. I'm going to get myself and Beef Boss equipped with some new tools, and then we'll be heading out on an adventure. And that's because we need to get the resources to upgrade our crafting bench to the next level. We're missing sand claws and sand shells, and we're obviously going to have to find a desert biome in order to get those. We did find a beach earlier, but not only is it miles away, I also don't know if we can find the right resources there. We might only be able to find those monsters inside the desert specifically. All right, I think preparations are finished. We've got double of each tool so that we have backups for when they break. We've got plenty of arrows. We've got a crossbow, tons of food. We are more than ready for this. It is desert or nothing. We cannot return here until we found one. Although I don't want to start the adventure at night. So we're just going to lie here for a little bit. I've just set out from the village with Beef Boss. I just realized I wasn't recording. We've only missed about five minutes. As you can see on the map, we're not that far away. So far though, the search for a desert has been very obviously unsuccessful successful and now we're cold as well that's not good get out of here wolf and the skeletons too i really hope we don't have to search for too long to find the desert the further away we are the more painful it's going to be to get back there the next time i really think that sleeping in a bed should skip the night it would make life a lot easier i don't want to be cold i want to be in a warm desert and there's wolves out here this is just not what you want to be honest we could just take shelter in this ruined building for the night this chest does not have anything useful it stopped raining now so we we can continue. Still no sign of a desert. There is some kind of building up in the distance though. It actually looks in fairly good shape. Oh, aside from the gaping hole in the roof on this side. From here, it looks pretty much unscathed. But yeah, this side tells a whole different story. We'll take some arrows. Thank you very much, chest. And there's a second chest here with some more arrows. I mean, I'm sure we'll come across a desert sooner or later. There's a tower up ahead or what remains of a tower anyway. Although since there's a campfire, there's gonna be bandits. Hello there, my friend goodbye straight to the dome that's two that's three. Oh, i missed the headshot is that everyone nope there's one more stand still for a second thank you there is a chest at the top here but instead of building up let's bring the tower down go on beef boss help me smash it up go on beef boss let's commit some arson there's just one more pillar down it comes <laughs> nice Oh, what? I will see you guys soon once I've got our stuff back. Oh, hold on. You guys see those pillars off in the distance? That's the desert. We do have to go get our stuff first, but over there, that's where the desert is. Or actually, I think it might be a mesa, but yeah, that's where it is. Over there. It is a bit annoying that we have to go this way and then double back on ourselves, but it is what it is. Why are there bandits here now? What's going on? Now we have a sword, although it looks like Beef Boss has got it handled anyway. I think maybe because we died here, it caused the bandits to reset. Regardless, let's build our way up to the chest. Do you have anything good? You kind of do. The soil's good. But anyway, that's not important. What is important is the mesa over there. There's a random campfire here for some reason. Look at this place. This is the biggest structure we've ever seen. Any enemies in here? Does not look like it. I'll happily take some milk. And up here we have some feathers. Those are good. Oh, hold on. There's a guy here. 
and he's not aggressive. I wish I could settle down in a nice village somewhere. Um, we don't really have any space in the village for you, and I'm gonna be honest, no offense, but you don't really have a cool outfit. We already have a farmer. Sorry, bro, you got a nice gig going by yourself, though, so it's fine. And there's another ruin down here. What's in the chest? Some bread, some slap juice, and there's a second chest. This one has some feathers, which we'll take. Oh, there's a big guy. There's a big guy on the beach. I really don't want to die when we're this close to the mesa, but I think I know a way we could beat him. If we hit him with an arrow, then Beef Boss can go in, because he's invincible, and Beef Boss can do all the work. Go on, Beef Boss. Get him. I'll sit back here and not take any damage. Okay, maybe I will take damage. Okay, I think the plan might have failed. I think the plan was a bad idea. If we can keep sending Beef Boss in there once he respawns, he's going to keep on doing a little bit of damage, dying, and then respawning. Eventually, we'll kill this thing. Unless he kills us first. There we go. All right, go on, Beef Boss. Go get him, Beef Boss. As long as we keep avoiding this guy. Oh, he's smashed half the house. Beef Boss, please attack him. He still has so much health. Yes, Beef Boss. Nice. This is a war of attrition. As long as we keep surviving and keep sending Beef Boss in there, eventually we'll chip away at this guy. All right, Beef Boss is back, so we do a little bit more damage. Boom. All right, go on, Beef Boss. He's almost to half health now. Even though he folds Beef Boss in one hit, the plan is actually working. As long as he doesn't kill us, that's the main thing. We can't die. You can keep sending those over. They're not going to do anything. All right, Beef Boss is back. Let's send him in there again. You got this, Beef Boss. Send him in there. Go on. Get him. Nice. Okay, he died again. That's fine. This guy's over half now. He's over half. Look at all the destruction around us. Watch out, Beef Boss. Okay, Beef Boss, I need to see some damage now. Come on. That guy's almost at a quarter health now. Just a little bit more and he's going to die. Oh, I just took so much damage. Get in there, Beef Boss. He's so low now. Beef Boss, I need you to do that last bit of damage. Yes. Yes, he's charging in. What a champion. This guy's running away from Beef Boss. That's how strong Beef Boss is. He's so weak. Come on. He's so low. Yes, we actually got him. Wait, did he not drop anything? Oh, never mind. Never mind. We got some Brute Scales. I have no idea what we can do with the Brute Scales, but that's cool. The one time we did get hit by that guy, we lost over half our health. We might as well collect all of this wood. The amount of destruction the Brute did is insane. He did harvest a lot of materials for us, though. Now we need to get to the Mesa, and we actually can't swim, so we're gonna have to go all the way around there. Oh, there's some pirates over here. Are they aggressive? Oh, they're definitely aggressive. Yar har, mateys. Ye all be dead. Oh, purple thing. Stupid little sea snails, go away. I was trying to pick up the snowberry shake. I think the sheep just ate it. Also die. Wait, a headshot didn't kill him? What kind of skull does this guy have? <laughs> one that rolls, obviously. However, what I am seeing here is a sand shell, and this is one of the items we need to upgrade the crafting bench. We're starting to get a bit closer. There's another one of these guys. That's how we get the sand shells. Dead. And we got another one. Look at that. That is certainly a view. And I've fallen down a cliff. No. Imagine if I died there. There's another sea shack, but I'm not really interested. Oh, hey, guys. Don't mind us. Swimming drains stamina, and if you don't get on dry land by the time it runs out, you end up getting put back where you first started swimming. However, having said that, it actually didn't put us back on the other side. We're now about halfway through on this rock, so I guess we just keep swimming. Oh, there's another brute over there. The thing is, though, we're not gonna make it. Can we jump across? That drains a bit less stamina. Please, we're so close. Come on. No. Yep, and we're back here. We can actually just build our way across using all the wood we got from that fight with the brute. It is a bit awkward because we have to build diagonally like this in order to get to the other side, but we'll make it there eventually. We're close now. We can probably just swim the rest of the way. We do need to immediately run in the opposite direction from that brute though. All right, we've made it. Come on, beef boss. Let's get out of here. There's some cacti here. Can we break them? No, we don't have a strong enough axe. We should be able to find sand wolves in here, I expect. That's a scorpion. Get him out of here. There is this stuff. Can we mine that up? Oh, we can. And this is rough amber. It's not the easiest thing in the world to mine. It takes quite a while. That might just be because of our pickaxe, though. Give me all of this. Let's make our way back down. And we got to see if we can find any sand enemies to fight. Look, there's cowboy skeletons here. No, wait. I just realized Beef Boss died. This town ain't big enough for the two of us, partner. My sword broke. Oh, wait, but we brought it back up. We're sorted. This is why you bring spares. Goodbye. What's in this chest? We've got some pepper seeds. And we don't need any of the other stuff. Oh, there's a wolf over here. Please die, wolf. That's just a regular claw. Oh, one of the cactuses just blew up. I have no idea why. We can just grab all of this. It's called flex wood. Oh, that's a sand wolf. Come here. Die. We need your materials. 
Ooh, okay, that's bad. Thankfully, it has just turned day. I did not realize the skeletons threw dynamite. We've got four sand claws as well. There's a bunch of scorpions attacking us. That is not what we want. Let's keep looking for amber to mine, and then at night, we'll try and get the skeletons to blow up more cacti for us. It does seem like all the amber's up on these stone pillars, which is a bit of a pain. If we jump on this, it'll boost us up, though. That's really helpful, B Foss. I'm glad you're swinging your pickaxe in the air doing nothing. <laughs> that is really handy. Our pickaxe is broken, but thankfully, we brought a spare. There's loads more amber over here. That's what you like to see. This stuff feels premium. It's probably because it's gold. I do see a ruin over there, and since we're in the desert, it might have some good loot for us. Oh, look, a desert spider. They definitely have a bit more health than the normal ones. There's a chest in here, and it doesn't have anything. And there's a second chest up here, and it doesn't have anything good either. Let's grab this amber up here. Beef boss, come on, you've got your pickaxe out. Help! Where's he gone now? Unfortunately, our pickaxe is almost broken, and we won't be able to collect any more amber. No, it just broke. There is a desert wolf over here, which is good. Die! Nice. Apparently, we're too hot at the moment. I don't know how we can bring our temperature down. We're also taking damage, the same as when we're cold. Why is there a Lego supply drop coming down? What is all that about? What is in here? That looks like some good stuff. There's a snowberry shake. Drink to heal and temporarily increase heat resistance. That's perfect. That supply drop is a paid actor. There's no way it gave us such a useful item at exactly the right moment. Die, wolf. These vent things are really good for getting a good look at the surroundings. There's a building with a chest. And it's rubbish. Of course it is. We do actually need to kill one more of you. So this is good timing that you've shown up. He's doing a fair bit of damage though, which is not really great. Oh, there's two. This could get a bit out of hand. Let's fire a few crossbows in him. Ooh, die, die. He's so weak. Oh, we got one. Our sword is running low on durability. That's not good. Go on, beef boss. Pickaxe him. Nice. I didn't pack a third sword. This is the last one we've got. There's not really a lot we can do apart from wait for night and go find some dynamite skeletons. The sun's setting. Not long to wait now. All right, skeletons. Come out, come out, wherever you are. This wolf is being so annoying. Is that a brute? Yes, it's a brute. Okay. Brutes can destroy stuff, though. So maybe we can lure him to this cactus. Come here. Come get me, stupid. I'm playing with my life right now. Oh, my God. Come on come blow these cacti up. Please. Come on, just charge at the cacti. That's all I need you to do. Let's poke him with the crossbow. Annoy him a bit. There we go. Nice. No! <laughs> His poison breath killed me. At least we can make a new sword before we go collect our stuff. I'm pretty sure we're closing in on 10 deaths now. We've got a new sword for us and a new sword for Beef Boss. We do actually have a bit of dynamite ourselves, so we should be able to go blow those cacti up. All right then, off we go. This is going to be a long trek. We're so far away that the beam of light showing our backpack doesn't even show up. Obviously, I'm just going to cut when I'm at the desert, so wish me luck. Finally, we made it. Please die. That's one down. No, beef boss. That's fine. I can handle this on my own. Now that we've got the dynamite, let's blast this cacti to pieces. What? No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? Well, I'll see you guys soon. This better be the final time. Right, we're blowing this cacti up and then we're going home. There we go. Give me all that flex wood. And we are leaving. Get me out of this desert. It sucks. If I die one more time here, I'm going to volley my monitor out of the window. Finally, we return with all of our stuff. Right, let's go ahead and offload all of our inventory. I'm glad we finally managed to get back home with all of our stuff. That desert trip was nothing short of a nightmare. Now we are on Unfortunately, missing some knot root and marble in order to upgrade our crafting bench. So we've got to go in the caves to grab that. And there's actually a cave almost directly next to our village. I never knew about this. Anyway, let's get to chopping. All right, I'm back with plenty of knot root. We also need to get a bunch of marble slabs made. And then at the top of our construction shed, let's get another stone breaker placed. These things take so long to refine stone. It's better if we have a second one. Soon, we will definitely be doing some expansion to our village. You know what? Before we upgrade it, let's move our crafting bench out of this shack because soon I really want to tear that thing down. It's so ugly. Let's place down our crafting bench and then we upgrade it and now we can upgrade our crafting bench to level three. Look at that. Now that looks good. And we can now craft the next tier of pickaxe. It's green. Look at that. And if we now place a gem cutter under the stairs, we can turn all of our rough amber into cut amber. And we also have all of the resources to upgrade our village to level six. And on top of that, we can now craft a level three axe. The next level of sword hasn't been unlocked yet, so I don't know what we have to do in order to get that. I think it's about time we start the grand village renovation. We've put a good amount of time into this place, but um, 
it's pretty ugly. This part's okay, although this building's a bit too close to this one, and let's not talk about the cramped villager shack. Now, we could just punch the houses down with our fists, but we have just unlocked the recipe for dynamite, which I think would be way funnier. Have you got any resources for us, Hayseed? He has got quite a lot of stuff. Now, because the verge is level 6, we've actually unlocked some new jobs for him, so we can ask him to smelt metal for us. Now that I think about it, though, we don't actually have a metal smelter, so that's not gonna work. <laughs> I've set him to refine gems instead, which means he'll produce us cut amber. The villagers produce that stuff on their own. They don't actually take this stuff from our chests. Let's make ourselves a whole bunch of dynamite. All right, let's do this. Bombs away. We're gonna fill- Oh no, Meowskulls, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Meowskulls. Wait, he's fine, I think. Yeah, he's fine. It is so much fun to blow these builds up. There we go. Down it comes. We can finish the rest of it off by punching. This is gonna be a complete renovation. The village needs to be unrecognizable by the time we're done building. Let's get a watchtower placed down by the water's edge, and we'll start constructing that. Rome wasn't built in a day, but hopefully this will be. And we've run out of wood. Great. We can put this new axe to the test now at least. And wow, that was quick. This thing goes through trees like they're nothing. And we can also one-hit bushes with it. This is amazing. It's so much better. I'm all about that speed. That efficiency, that power. This is going to make collecting all the wood we need for the renovation incredibly easy. We should have enough wood for now. I don't want to collect more because it's cold and I'm moving really slowly. We've got to the top of the tower now at least. Now we just got to put the railings on. There we are. The build is complete. Let's get some beds placed inside for our villagers. Whoever gets this bed is going to be happy. And whoever gets this one's going to be pretty annoyed. We'll put a little shelf up here and some books and stuff there. And we still don't have the resources to make proper lamps. So candles it is. We can also put two sets of drawers there and there. Let's assign these beds to our villagers. And I think that is a great addition. Let's also throw in a grill at the bottom of here because I'm not sure where else to put it. So that's two beds sorted. And I think for the next bit of NPC housing, we should build it ourselves. And by that, I mean we should come up with our own design. We've already run out of wood though, so we have to collect more. Let's start off with the foundation for the log cabin. Right, so this is the base plate that we'll build the house on. The most important part is the core first because they give us an idea of where to put the other walls. Then we'll put the door here and then some double windows at the front. Window there, window there, and a window there. Then we'll put blank walls everywhere else. We've also got a little staircase leading up to the door so we can get in and out. Now let's chuck the floor in. Now all that should be left is the roof. Then we just put these pieces in here. The reason it's now nighttime is because I'm an idiot and couldn't get everything placed incorrectly. Then we put this piece there and one there and then that bit there and that bit there then we go boom boom and boom boom okay since our other build had spikes on the roof i think we copied that design on this one too and there we go i think that looks okay i built a couple rooms in here for the villagers then we'll put a couple beds in here these entrances actually don't have doors so i should probably fix that to give them some privacy all right i've gone ahead and made a couple changes to the interior mainly so that the villagers actually have doors on their rooms and they're very dark inside because I haven't put any lights in. Let's go ahead and place down the beds again. And then we'll put a little table in the corner and a candle in the middle. Then we'll go ahead and put some more in on this side, as well as the same setup for the candle. We have actually placed down slightly too many beds because the max verges is five and counting this building and the tower, we've got six, but that doesn't really matter. It does mean that at long last, we can take down this shack. Hello, Raptor. At long last, we don't have a single shack in this village. Now you might be wondering what we're going to be doing with all this empty space? And the answer is, we're finally going to be planting some crops. Um, hey seed, you can open the door. You do realize that, right? You can't just headbutt it. That doesn't work. You have any gems for us? No, he's not quite done yet. Let's make a little fenced off area for our farm. And we'll also add an entrance. And there we go. There's the entrance to our farm. Now we can start placing down the plots for the crops. We have so much fertilizer and soil. We can place loads of these. That is looking great so far. And now we can finally get all of our seeds planted. We'll focus on peppers and snowberries right now because those help us out in the cold and hot biomes respectively. There we go. We've got two rows of snowberries and a row of peppers. I'm really happy with this little farm. I also put this chest in this corner so that we can store the extra seeds. Sky has just shown up and I'm fairly sure she's a rare villager. We're missing the marble required to upgrade. We have the knot root, so let's make a quick trip to the caves. Sorry, glowy fairy. I don't have time. We do also get a chance to break in this new pickaxe. Go away, spider. We have all the marble we need now let's rush back to the base we just need to get it all converted into slabs don't despawn 
corn, please. All of our crops are already ready. I did not realize crops grew so quickly. Let's get the peppers we got ground up into seeds. We have enough marble now. Upgrade village, level seven. Wait, in order to get another villager slot, we have to go to level eight. We can't add Sky to the village, unfortunately. How's it going, Meowskulls? Do you have food for us? Oh, he has loads of food. Yes, please. Give me all of this. Let's get all of our pepper seeds planted again. I wish I made crops earlier. They grow so fast. If we make ourselves a shovel, we should be able to use this to dig up more soil. I'm going to be digging for a while. I want to fill out that entire fenced area with soil. Let's place down some more of these garden plots. We'll make some more pepper seeds, as well as a bunch of snowberry seeds. We'll plant some more peppers and some more snowberries. And then we'll plant all the seeds that we just got. This farm is coming along very nicely. Get out of here, Skirton. What are you doing? Let's get ourselves set up with a new axe. We're going to make a bunch of cord on the spinning wheel. And then we'll use that to make a drawstring. And we can use that to craft ourselves the next tier of crossbow. We'll also make a bunch more arrows. And we do need a fair bit more knot root. So I'll be right back when we've got enough. All right, we have plenty of knot root now. And we need all that knot root to not only make a new sword, but also to make lots and lots of dynamite. And the reason we've been making all that stuff is because we need to go to the desert. Now we have the level three pickaxe and a bunch of snowberries to help us with the heat. We can go into the lava desert caves and get the rarest ores. We have made it to the desert. And using our upgraded axe, we can finally chop these cacti. Although, of course, the much easier solution is to find a patch of them and blow them up. That was a really bad dynamite throw. Okay, that one should do some damage. Wait, why are these not getting blown up anymore? What's going on? This worked last time, I swear. Oh, there we go. It seems like you can only blow up these big ones. Now we're talking. Getting some flex wood is definitely important, but our main priority here is to find a cave. And we do also need to kill some of these guys, as well as some sand walls. Also, I believe sometimes the scorpions can drop blast powder, which we could also do with. I think I'm doing something wrong because we're only getting meat. There's another wolf down here. Oh, one of the skeletons has dropped blast powder. There's another wolf here as well. And another one. It's specifically these cowboy skeletons that can give us the blast powder. Look, there it is. We'll also grab a bit more flex wood. I haven't seen any caves on the map yet, so we've just got to keep exploring. Let's grab ourselves some more blast powder. Caves just seem to be really rare in the desert. I don't want to fight too many enemies because we're going to run into a lot of skeletons in the mines. It would also be a lot easier to find these caves at day. There is a camp over there, but it's full of enemies, so we will pass. Dawn is coming. I can't find a single cave. The forest biome is littered with caves. Where are the desert ones? We do need to kill a few more of these guys. Oh, hey guys, don't mind me. Get out of here. They were also guarding this chest. Really? They went to war over 8 arrows and 11 raspberry seeds. There's a supply drop over this way, so we might as well go get that. Biders, get out of here. What have you got supply drop? We got some pepper seeds and some cheese from that supply drop. You know what we didn't get? Any indication as to where the nearest cave is? Get out of here, wolf. There's also one of the roly boys. You must die. I need to harvest your pieces to use in my weapons. Oh, I'm really weak, actually. Please, no. No! Oh, get him, beef boss. Nice. That guy very nearly killed us. Oh, I think that's a cave. I'm so sure this is a cave. Please, please, please. Yes! Here we are inside a lava cave. Even with the assistance of snowberries, we're still too hot. We're just gonna have to make sure we keep healing while we're in here. Also, these skirtons take so many hits. He does over half my health bar in one hit. And they throw dynamite because of course they would. Stop doing that. I did not realize this area was gonna be this tough. Stay back. Let's build a little bridge across. And we can start mining up some copper, I think this is. It is copper. Also, can you leave me alone? Stop throwing those. This stuff takes ages to mine. This chest is really good. We've got a new sword, a blast core, and some dynamite. Oh, and this stuff here is bright core. Look at all of that. We can finally make some cool lamps at home instead of the candles. Oh, Beef Boss just jumped in the lava. <laughs> These caves are super hostile, though. I'm glad we brought the snowberries, or we would probably just die immediately. Oh, no. Please stop throwing dynamite everywhere. Run. They don't give you a moment's peace in this cave. At least they blew themselves up, kind of. Let's just keep moving. I think that stuff down there is obsidian. Oh, wait. I really should not have jumped here when we don't have any way of moving. No. No. <laughs> We've once again got to do the hike of shame. I'll see you guys in a little bit. There's a golden llama here. This gives us loads of resources. That seems like the type of thing you'd find in a 2017 clickbait video. I found the golden llama in Lego Fortnite. 
but it's actually real. Oh, why is that guy there? Chill, man. We've finally made it back to the cave. Hopefully, we don't have to fight any skeletons in order to get our stuff. There it is. Oh, relax, skeleton. Those dynamite ones are deadly. Please blow themselves up. I'm getting surrounded here. I really don't want to die again. I haven't managed to pick up all my stuff yet. I'm claiming what's rightfully mine. No, 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 no. I'm so weak. Please. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I refuse. I simply refuse. Oh, this place is brutal. Right, let's keep going and getting more resources mined up. No, 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 no. Stop throwing dynamite. These skeletons are so annoying. He's going to blow himself up, though. <laughs> Our pickaxe is already pretty low. That's not ideal. There's obsidian. Yes, 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 yes. There are so many good resources here. I think this is going to be the last bit we can mine before our pickaxe breaks. I'd be very surprised if we managed to mine this piece as well. Nope, our pickaxe broke. Still, we're leaving this place with 28 obsidian, 28 copper, and 46 bright cores. What's in this chest? I'll take some slab juice. And now I'll take my leave and escape. Oh, but what's in here? Nothing really. I think we're going the wrong way. Oh no, there's the exit. Get me out of here. It is the middle of the night right now. So if I get mauled by skeletons before we can escape, I'm actually going to... I don't even know what. I'm gonna be very mad though. Don't mind me, mate. Please don't cause problems. Daylight is upon us. I would like to get some wool. And I believe that if you give sheep food, they'll eat it and drop you some. Go on, eat the raspberry. There we go. We got some wool. Oh, they eat seeds as well. That's useful. Thank you very much. I think the more stuff you feed them, the more wool you get. We started to attract a bit of a crowd. And also, if you pet them, you can also get wool that way. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, let's keep on making our way back. I guess this chest might have some wool. It does not. Oh, and actually, if we pet cows, we can get milk from them. It's not quite how it works in the real world. More sheep to pet here. Come here. Let me pet you. We're nearly back now. Home sweet home. This fella's shown up, but he's not a very cool character, so I don't want him. Let's combine the milk we got with some snowberries to make some snowberry shakes. Let's turn some of our flexwood into flexwood rods. And we'll also get our inventory cleared out. And now we can make ourselves a brand new pickaxe. Real quick, let's relocate the juicer. And then we'll get a loom placed down. We'll now craft ourselves a cool-headed charm, which should help us in the lava caves. And it gives us some extra health too, which is nice. We'll now make a whole bunch of wool thread. Because what if I told you that we're going to be working towards an actual working aircraft. No more peasantly runs to get to the desert. We are going to be cruising along high in the sky. We are missing a bit of wood though, so I got to go grab some of that. I would like to mention that I'm following a tutorial for this. I am in no way, shape or form smart enough to figure this out on my own. We're going to place these dynamic foundations like that. These are the platforms that can be affected by motion. They're the most important part of this. Then we place these like this. Then we need to build a set of stairs at the back so we can get on and off this thing. The reason why they're so high up is because we're going to be removing these support beams at the bottom. And that is actually the next step. So let's break that. Then we place some floors on here. Then we're going to place this part on the front. Then we put a railing here and two candles on the front like so. Then we get two railings here and here. Then we get a railing placed here and here. I love how Beef Boss is just standing there. He's like moral support. Then we put two of these wood pieces in each corner. And then we stack up four more. Then we need to take out the bottom piece which is pretty fiddly. There we go. We got it. And we do the same on this side. Now we have to head back to base real quick. We'll make ourselves a few torches and then we can place down some small thrusters. Now we go ahead and put two levers down. And now for another fiddly part, we have to break another of these wooden foundations. And I've just broken the lever instead. I've got it lined up on that one. It slides into place like that. And now for the second one. Nope, I've hit the lever. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. There we go. Then we put these pieces on top like so. There we go. Then we go ahead and put two railings on either side. Then we add two fences at the back here, as well as two candles. We also need another lever placed there. Then we add two thrusters on the back. Now the next thing we need to do is craft a few of these small balloons. We need to make a few pieces of cord. There is a supply drop coming down, but I don't think it's going to be that helpful. Now we can place down our two little balloons. It's not quite enough to lift this ship up though we need two large balloons as well. We have very nearly reached aviation greatness though, I promise you. Let's collect some food from Meow Schools. It is so good that you can get the NPCs to work for you. You get so many extra resources. While we wait for our silk fabric to be made, we might as well continue work on the farm. Hold on, what kind of video am I? Look how misaligned these plots of soil are. Let's try this all again. We've always got the entire farm filled out now. We're gonna need to upgrade the chests in the storage room soon. We do not have a lot of space left. Let's go 
go ahead and harvest our crops. Then we need to go ahead and grind up some more peppers. I think we should get a variety of crops planted here. So I'm actually going to plant some wheat on this side. Hopefully we get some clear weather soon. I want to launch our airship on a sunny day. There we go. It is lovely and sunny now. We place one big balloon there. Oh, it's, it's starting to lift a bit. And then we simply place the final big balloon here. And we have liftoff. I'm sorry, Beef Boss. Goodbye. And now if we hit this lever, this should power the thrusters at the back. We're flying. We're actually flying. And then using these two levers, we can steer left and right. We no longer need to walk to the desert. We can fly there. This is so much better than running. Now, you might be wondering how we land this, and it's actually pretty simple. We just stack up a couple of these wood foundations to increase the weight. Hello, Beef Boss. You're standing right in the way. Move. Beef Boss is sabotaging the entire operation right now because you need to stack up three of these foundations in order to get enough weight to bring the airship back down. Beef Boss, come on. Please. Please just get off. Can I hit him off, maybe? get off. We could put down a few of these smaller ones, I guess. And that's done nothing. Great. Hold on. What if I emote? Maybe that'll make him get off. It's not working. Get off the ship. Oh, beef boss, you're testing my patience. I'm going to try break this and then start again. Come on, just get to the back of the ship. Get to the back. Come over here. Oh my god, beef boss. Hold on. He's out of the way now. We can actually land this. That was so unnecessarily painful. He doesn't even know what he's done. Look at his face. It's definitely not the fastest landing in the world, but it definitely beats walking. You actually need a lot more weight than I thought to land this thing. That will keep it anchored for now, though. Is that not the coolest thing ever, though? We've built a working aircraft in LEGO Fortnite. It's good timing that we've got that constructed because we need to head back to the desert. Before we go, though, we need to make some preparations, and part of that involves finding some cows. Would any cows like to donate some milk? I don't think it was a particularly smart idea to go out looking for them in the middle of the night. Let's go back home and wait it out. Let's also take the opportunity to make an upgraded health charm. And it looks like you can only have two health charms equipped at the same time, so we'll swap out one of our uncommon ones. The other charm I'd like to aim for is the inner fire charm, but that requires quite a lot of materials, including rubies, and I have no idea how we get those. We'll make an extra pickaxe as well, a brand new sword, and we'll also get set up with some more arrows. Now that it's daytime, let's go on the hunt for some cows. Cows, where are you? Nope, you are the furthest thing from a cow. There we go, we found a cow. Let's pet it to get some milk. Get out of here, man, you're so annoying. I think we can give the cows some food and they'll give us milk. It seems to be working. Oh, we just got so much from that. Thank you very much, cow. Have a lovely day. And the reason we collected all that milk is so we can make a bunch of snowberry shakes. Let's also make Beef Boss a new sword. Our crossbow is a little low on durability, so it wouldn't hurt to make another one of those. There we go, new crossbow acquired. Right, well, let's make our way over. And... <laughs> that tree just materialized in front of us. Let's remove these pieces so that we can take flight. I can't believe we're actually going to fly to the desert. It is still going to take us a while, but not nearly as long as trying to run there. And we're already at the desert. There is now a crack in our ship, but um, yeah, that's fine. That's supposed to happen. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't disintegrate while we're flying it. As I said earlier, if you want to build this in your own LEGO Fortnite world, there'll be a link in the description to the tutorial. That isn't the original cave we went in there, but it's a cave, so that's what we'll be landing. On. Now we just need to weigh this thing down so that we can land. I keep going on about it, but this is amazing. Come on, Beef Boss, let's go. I did unfortunately forget to bring all of our snowberry shakes. We've only got one, but we do also have a bunch of snowberries, so we should be able to deal with the extreme heat. Hello there, my good friend. Or should I say my dead friend? Let's get this chugged down, and in we go. Let's get the skeletons dealt with. It seems like all of the coppers decided to spawn right up at the top. Let's grab ourselves some of this. I'm having to do a tightrope packed in order to get to the copper and I still can't reach it. I think we just take the damage in order to grab this. Yep, that worked. And we've even got a chest over here, which isn't very good, to be honest. Another chest here. Not very good. What on earth is that? I think he's going to explode. <laughs> yep. And he left us a blast core, which was very generous of him. Let's grab some more of this copper up here. I have no idea how much copper we're going to need, so I'm just going to grab as much of it as possible. And the other thing which we definitely need is some more obsidian. I think we're pretty much sorted for bright cores at the moment. We have quite a lot of those. There's some obsidian up there, but we don't have any wood to make stairs. Maybe we can jump off of this rock? No. Surely I can make that. Come on. If you attack midair, you get a little bit of extra height. So let's try that. Oh, it works. 
Let's go. Now we can grab all of this. I've had to collect some wood anyway, because this obsidian is all the way up here. Our snowberry shake has run out, unfortunately, and the snowberries actually don't give us enough heat resistance to prevent us from taking damage. We'll have to just keep healing the damage off. We'll grab this copper over here. I'm pretty sure we've mined everything out of this cave now, so let's leave and find a new one. There's the exit. The map's showing there's a cave not too far from here. Oh, no! No! What? Oh no, that's not what's supposed to happen. We've got to make an emergency landing real quick. We've now got to go on a mission to try and retrieve the lost thruster from our airship. It's not going to be very practical, but we will still be able to fly it with half the steering. I'm going to be honest, I doubt we're going to be able to find this thing. We're looking for a brown and gray piece in a sea of brown and gray. I was not expecting one of the engines to just fly out like that. Get out of here. I have so many more important things to do than fight you. I'm going to get up on top of this and see if I can spot it. We can use this to our advantage. I'm going to be honest, guys. I have no idea where that thing went. Real quick while we're here, let's grab this amber. Right, let's get all of this broken and be on our way. Since we can only go this way, we have to very slowly turn all the way around. We should be aligned correctly now, and we should be almost directly above the cave now. All right, we have landed, and the cave itself is right here. We'll make sure to collect this copper. Although our main priority here is obsidian, and the reason we're only really prioritizing this is because we have have over a hundred copper now. There's more obsidian over here. Please relax, fellas. Get out of here. I'm missing every shot. Right, that's that dealt with. Now we can collect this precious obsidian. We've got plenty of obsidian and we're starting to run low on snowberries, so we'll take our leave. The last thing I'm going to do before we fly our way back home is to collect some more raw amber. Take me away, geyser. Oh, we just made it. We've got one last enemy to fight before we can leave. And we'll get rid of another wolf for good measure. Then we break all of this. And we have lift off. As long as this engine stays in place, we should be okay. If that flies out as well, we're in big trouble. I think we're just about going to slide past these trees. Nice. The magic genuinely never wears off with this. I mean, apart from when one of the engines flies off. We're going to hit that tree. No. No. Bit of turbulence, it's fine. We are now slightly misaligned, so we have to spin it all the way back around. That's a pretty nice view, I can't lie. You can just about see our base in the distance. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the pilot speaking. We have now arrived. Please keep your seatbelts on and remain seated as I stack the plane with granite slabs in order to land it. And there we have it. A nice, safe landing. First things first, let's get a bunch of obsidian thrown in the stone breaker. And here's all the snowberry shakes I accidentally left behind. We basically just need to wait for the stone breaker to do its thing. In order to pass the time, we could try repair the ship. So we stack up three like this, and the thruster actually has to go here this time. And that's because it was the left engine that flew out. The right engine somehow slid over and is now in this side. Now we break the bottom bit, which is kind of difficult. Unfortunately, I accidentally broke one of the railings, and because of this thruster, I can't replace it. When you break levers and thrusters, you don't actually get the pieces back. And since we have a really limited amount of blast powder, I'm not going to risk it. We'll have to go back to the desert and farm some more, but that is something we'll be doing later. The next workstation that we need is the metal smelter, but since it's getting pretty crowded at the top of this building, I think it's time we add an extension, which of course means we're going to need to collect a ton of wood. I'm just going to chop until our axe breaks. It's a whole lot easier to collect wood when your axe doesn't break every five seconds. Can you guys leave me alone? I'm not trying to have an audience while I chop wood. Just go away. Go away. I don't need an audience. <laughs> leave. Our axe is now broken, but we now have all of this wood. Quite often, caves have blast powder in their chest, so I'm going to check real quick. Trust me, Skirtons, I have dealt with far more difficult enemies than you guys. Is there any blast powder up here? There is not. Any in here? No. Please, I just want some blast powder. No. What about in here? Yes, we found some. I would really love to find the way out of here. I'm kind of lost. Finally, there's the way out. Real quick, let's get our village upgraded to level 8. And we've now unlocked the fourth villager slot. Right, so let's make a small pavilion out here. I guess we could try using these white pillars. Oh, look, Sky showed up. We can actually get her this time. Live in my village. We now have both Meowskulls and Sky. And since they're both pretty rare, I think that's cool. I've decided to stick with the wooden theme. I just think it looks better. Now that our village is leveled up, we've also got access to a lot more half wall pieces, which makes building the roof a lot easier. We'll add the spikes up at the top here. Okay, well, a little bit of time has passed. And not only have I added the pavilion, I'm also deciding to stack a tower on top of it. 
Why? I have no idea. I'm just gonna pray that this looks good. Because if it looks ugly after it's all done, that is gonna be a heartbreak. Now we add in the top platform up here. I think it would be sick if we put a cabin on top of this, just like with that tower over there. We'll get the corners done first. Then we'll add some double windows, as well as a single window on this side. We do also need to add a small balcony around the outside. Beef boss, if you fall off this and die, I cannot accept any legal responsibility for that. We'll actually put a door here, because imagine how sick it would be if we connected these two towers with a bridge. We'll add in a peaked roof like this, and we gotta make sure we fill it in with these pieces. Now we just add the top part onto the roof. Beef boss, why must you always stand exactly where I'm trying to place things? There we go, that is all done. We're actually gonna thicken up the walkway here just slightly. There we go. And now we simply have to add the railing itself. In today's shocking news, we have run out of wood. Can you believe it? We have wood now, so we'll get this railing finished. We're all finished with the building now, and check this out. I went a little bit overboard with the extension, and then look at this up at the back. There's a whole staircase leading up to the top. I'm so happy with how this tower turned out. I also extended the beams down to here so that it looks more reinforced. I did forget to add a floor in here though so let me fix that real quick and there we go and now let's get our metal smelter placed down and by combining copper with bright core we can make ourselves copper bars it's really unfortunate peely the villager has shown up and he's really rare but we don't actually have another slot for him we've smelted all the copper that we can because we've now run out of bright core and once these obsidian slabs are ready we'll be able to upgrade our workbench to the max level we could make the next level of sword if we wanted but we need all of our copper in order to upgrade the bench. While we wait for that, it is time for us to make a journey to the desert. Let's remove the weight off of the airship. I know we've only got one engine on the front. We're gonna have to hope it doesn't fly out like the other one did. The reason we're going to the desert is we need more bright core, we need more blast powder, and we need more flex wood. And don't worry, I actually remembered the snowberry shakes this time. The desert cave is in sight. Here seems as good a place as any to land. Alright, here we are. Real quick, let's grab ourselves a bit of flex wood. This stuff is not easy to farm. It takes several years for the blue axe to get through these cacti. We do need to be here during the night anyway, because we need to collect blast powder from the cowboy skeletons. We should have a fight on our hands pretty soon. Alright, it is pitch black now, so there should be some skeletons about. Wolf, no, not you. There's a skeleton. He has blast powder for us. Wolf, can you go away? Come on, where are the skeletons? I don't want wolves. Yeah, get him, beef boss. There's a skelly. Give me that blast powder. More there. I love how this wolf can only do a quarter of a heart of damage to us now. Goodbye, skeleton. Whenever I don't want to see them, there's always a crowd of skeletons attacking me. But now that we need to get blast powder, I can barely find any. Die, please. And the night's somehow already over. We did manage to get 10 blast powder, which isn't too bad. Anyway, let's chug this snowberry shake and go into the cave. I see what I believe are rubies up here. That's the most ruby-looking ruby to have ever rubied. This is obviously ruby. The only thing we're after is these and bright core. We have enough copper to last us for a long time. I believe this is our bright core here. I am so glad resources respawn in caves. It would be an absolute nightmare otherwise. You do get seven bright core for every clump mined, which is really good. Especially since it's pretty harsh on the pickaxe durability. There is some dynamite in this chest. We could use that to blow up some of the bright core and save pickaxe durability. Can you guys stop throwing things at me? Ow! Ow! Stop. Let's toss the dynamite down there and see if it does anything. Wait, it barely does any damage. Look at this. 16 damage to all of it. I mean, it was a decent idea. Unfortunately, our sword's now broken from fighting so many skeletons, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult to explore this cave. There is a big bit of ruby here, which we'll grab, and this is definitely going to be the last bit of bright coal we can grab before our pickaxe breaks. Please, just grab this last bit. Yes. I think one more hit and our pick breaks, right? Yep. Well, now it's time to get out of here. As long as I can find the exit, that is. I always get lost in these caves. I could do with some more blast cores, so let's let these guys blow up. We found an exit. It's not the one I was aiming for, but it will take us out. We shouldn't be too far away from the cave that we entered from. Our airship should be very close now. There's a bunch of monster Lego bricks lying on the floor. We're definitely close. There it is, the airship. Now we can leave this place. Let's maneuver this thing around, and then we'll cruise on out of here. Ignore the crack in the 
floor that's appeared again. It's fine. That's completely intentional. Intentional design, yeah. And look at that. It's snapped back together again. I told you guys everything was fine. We've almost made it back now. We are slightly off course, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to recorrect. Let's bring this thing down for a landing. And now that we've got all these bright cores, let's smelt a bunch more copper. All of our obsidian slabs are done now, and since we sent Beef Boss to kill that brute earlier while we spammed it with a crossbow, we've actually already acquired the brute scale needed. So let's get this thing upgraded. Boom, maxed crafting table. And we've now unlocked the highest tier of tools, the epic axe and the epic pickaxe. The pickaxe actually requires frost pine rods. And some of the charms we've unlocked also require these epic tier items like frost shells and malachite slabs. In order to get all of that, we need to go to the snow biome, but it is nearly day 100 now. So I think that the final thing we should do in this 100 days is attempt to fight the frost brute, the hardest boss in the game. I've also made a second rare health charm so our health is looking pretty good now. In order to protect against the harsh temperatures, we're gonna need to cook some spicy burgers. Thankfully, we have plenty of wheat and peppers. We'll get all of this wheat ground down into grain. And while I remember, let's upgrade our village to level 9. And actually, looking at the requirements, we already have all of the materials to go to level 10. We just need to make some flex wood rods and a bunch of obsidian slabs. Please, Peely, don't leave before we upgrade. We now have enough copper bars to make the next tier of sword. Sword, and we can also make the epic axe. The rare sword is really expensive, costing 12 copper bars, so Beef Boss is only going to get the uncommon one. Let's also make a bunch of flour. I'm going to follow Peely around in order to make sure he doesn't despawn. We can do a little dance with everyone, a little saxophone session. Look at that, we've got everyone hanging out. Oh, oh god, <laughs> until violence erupted. Peely, you're not leaving. You are living in this village whether you like it or not. Almost all the obsidians ready now. Do not leave. Do not leave. Do not leave. Do not leave. Yes, I'm an adult excited over the fact that a walking banana might live in this village. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> okay, all the obsidians ready. Upgrade village to level 10. That village totem looks sick as well. And now we can ask Peely to live in the village. Yes. We've also unlocked street lights, which would be a great addition, but they require iron, which is from the snow biome. We should have all the ingredients now to make some spicy burgers. And now all we need to do before we leave is to repair the airship. Now all we have to do with these is break the pieces underneath. And I think I've managed to do that first try. I think I've done something wrong though, because this isn't falling down. Now this is a pretty fiddly process, so I'm hoping it all works out. Okay, that's our first thruster in place. I've just placed these blocks and it's broken the thruster on this side for some reason. I'm gonna get this to work. Now we just need to break this bottom piece. Nice. And it's not falling down. Maybe if I just break this one as well, it'll all fall into place. Oh, that actually worked. All right, well, the airship is now fully repaired. The only thing left to do now is to make a new crossbow, and for that, we're gonna need to get some cord. And for that, we need to get some vines. Goodbye, bush. Our base looks so sick. We'll get a bunch of cord made. Come to think of it, we can also make an essence table, and this allows us to effectively enchant our weapons and tools. Let's make ourselves a new crossbow, and also a shield. We'll also craft a whole bunch of arrows. We'll apply the essence of damage to our our long sword, as well as the essence of durability. And then we'll do the exact same thing to our crossbow. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for us to set forth and take on the most difficult boss. Beef Boss, what are you doing? Why would you do that? Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I will be right back. As I was saying, now it is time for us to take on the final boss. We have a slight problem, which is that when I click this lever, both of these turn on. So we're just gonna have to break one and go with the one engine strategy. It would have been nice to have had the airship back to 100% working form, but this is fine. All right, let's go. Next destination, the snow biome. We'll make sure our hunger is topped up. We're already cold, but no fear, we've got the spicy burgers to help us out. Here seems as good a spot as any to land the ship. Ow. Go away. I have better things to do than deal with you. The frost enemies are way tougher than the desert ones. I'm gonna grab some granite real quick, because then we can place down a marker on the map, which will show us where our airship is. We'll use this piece of chicken, because, I don't know, why not? There's a frost wolf, but not the brute. I feel like we'll have a better chance of finding one if we head up the cliffs. All these trees actually give frost pine wood, so we can't collect from those. I took some damage from a frost wolf, and it did over half of our health, so we might have to 
use the beef boss method on this boss. Where are you, Frost Brute? Where are you hiding? There must be one around here somewhere. We are so high up right now. It's so cold here at night that even with a spicy burger and a torch, we're still cold. Because we're so slow in the cold and the enemies here hit really hard, I'm just going to camp up on this staircase for the night. All right, the sun has risen. It is time to continue the search. That's an NPC, actually. That guy's not hostile. Hopefully, he won't mind if we loot his chest. It has nothing. There's got to be a brute just hanging out up here. What's this chest got for us? Ooh, some snowberry shakes and some blast powder. And this drawstring is kind of neat, so I'll take that. And you know what? We'll even take the spicy peppers as backup if we somehow go through all seven of our burgers. Bandits, please leave me alone. We've got some more milk and some cord. You know what we don't have? A brute to fight. There's a ruined castle over here, and it looks almost complete. We might as well help ourselves to this chest. Oh, okay. Once again, night has fallen and we're cold, so let's hide in this house for now. We'll place down a campfire to keep us warm, and then we just wait. It's morning again. Let's continue our search. Come on, man. Where are the brutes at? We still haven't found it. I'm going to blow up this castle for fun. That did not do as much as I'd hoped. These things are so rare. Once again, night has fallen. I'll see you guys soon. I searched for days and days and days, and I just could not find this guy. Well, we haven't found the boss, but we have found a yeti. I'm going to be honest, guys. I've been searching for this thing for over two hours now. I've eaten every single spicy burger, and I haven't found it. It's now day 100, so there's not really a lot we can do. We did manage to find a yeti, though. Also, I think something is gone ever so slightly wrong with our airship. It might be barely recognizable anymore, but if we can just get one thruster on the front, we can turn this thing around and head home. We're gonna need enough granite in order to make a lumber mill. We'll make a few wooden rods with this lumber mill. Then we'll place a thruster there. We'll punch out the bottom block. We add a lever. Then we take out the bottom bit again. And it doesn't want to fall down into the slot, but it's still working. So whatever. <laughs> Let's just get this poor destroyed airship home. When this is turned on, it actually turns on the thrusters at the back as well. But now we should be aligned to just go in a straight line all the way back to the village. No, I just popped one of the balloons. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think we might have to sacrifice the front piece here. Please. Yes. 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 I'm sorry, Beef Boss. Goodbye. <laughs> this was once a pristine airship. Look at it now. The frost biome is cruel and evil. We're so close to being back now. Please just don't fall apart yet. That's our village right there. We're directly above the village now. If we just take out this balloon... There we go. We're going to fall all the way down. Crash landing. Let's go. Our poor, poor airship. Overall, though, I would say this was a pretty successful 100 days. We got a maxed out village, built some insane stuff, made an airship, explored every biome, and got some great tools. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>